What's up, baby? What's going on? Ah! Let's go. Ah, oh, man. I fucked up my eye like 10 seconds ago, you guys. Like, if I didn't have my glasses on right now, this eye right here would look like I got punched in the face, bro. Oh, my God. I went to put my jersey on. <laughs> I went to put my jersey on, and the fucking number went bam right, right into my eyeball. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm blind, bro. I'm about to be a two-tone pirate, bro. This is crazy. Uh, I'm going to bring up the, the, the other thing real quick. Uh, everybody take their seat real quick. We're going to... We're gonna have some fun today. <laughs> this one's gonna be a fun one. Um, I'm just gonna bring up our, uh, God damn, that shit hurts. Holy hell, I got fucked up. I got a clothesline by Lex Luger in his prime. Are you kidding me? Damn, that shit hurts. Holy shit, I can't see anything out of my eye. Whoa, I'm blinded as shit. All right, let's, um, first of all, I wanna thank everybody for continuing to support the channel. You guys have been kicking ass, uh, like seriously. Um. Getting um all right uh we're gonna we're gonna start the poll you guys uh what grade would you give Texans for getting Stefan Diggs? We've got A, B, C, or F. We're gonna see what you guys think about that. Get the, get the poll going for a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry, hold on. I can't see anything. Like, what the fuck, bro? Oh my god, I'm I apologize you guys. Damn, I fucked my shit up. Um <laughs> appreciate it. EC3 says for the TAI funds. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Oh my god. Shout out to all my mods, all, all the people in the Discord, everything like that. Man, we're gonna get into that real quick. We're gonna talk about everything, but I want everyone to get in here real quick. So let's say what's up to everybody as we all as we all um you know, every night we do this. I want to know who your favorite team is. Wherever you're rocking, doesn't matter, man. We're building a super special army, a family over here, fellas, of, of football fans. You know what I mean? You don't have to be a Titans fan to be over here. So I recommend everybody subscribing, liking, commenting, do all that fun stuff. It's it's crazy, bro. Like, this channel's been crazy. It's just been crazy lately. So, again, everybody enjoy the channel. Super chats are back. Everything is back. So it's going to be fun. Let me say what's up to everybody. And then we've got a lot to go over, you guys. We've got a lot to go over tonight. All right, uh, Michael M says join the channel Discord. It's a blue party. Yes, everybody hit that Discord. Trust me, it's worth it. Uh, Lev Lewis Smith, how you doing? He says build and rebuild. <laughs> yep. EC3, Titan Saucy over chicken. Uh, AFO, uh, Michael M, I think I already said, I'm not sure. Cat Nelson, what else we got up in here before we get going? Uh, Elite T Curry, Julian, Stephen Crozio, Weston Warrior. SBMC Gaming. Uh, again, thank you, Earth Citizen 3, for the donation, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, Zach says, Sneed about uh, about to shut Diggs down again. Dude, it's, uh, we're going to get into everything. And, and mods, make sure you guys send uh, send everything to the uh, to that, that one place on the Discord, okay? Make sure, you, make sure everything's over there. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Ian says, Texans think they the shit after getting a washed 30-year-old crybaby wide receiver who will <laughs> be complaining in week six about not getting receptions. We're going to be getting into everything, bro. What's up, TA is the best? Squad in the building? Trust me, we're going to get into everything. I promise you guys. He says, I'll give them a B. What's up, Daniel Berry Sports? Weston, Allen, everybody's giving them grades in there. I, I appreciate it. It's actually the poll. Um... I love it, man. Uh, William William Lewis. Uh, Titan South, how you doing, big dog? I know the Texans, man. They bringing out some firepower this year, huh? Jesus. Alan Darby says, TA, how do you become a mod? How do I become a mod? Just showing up, man, and, and, and supporting the channel. Uh, Liam says, bro, I'm still in the hospital. I'm still watching you. Liam, man, fuck, bro. Right, hopefully you're okay, man. Can we, can we all get a heal up, Liam? Can we all get a, a heal up, Liam, in the chat? Can we all spam that? Like, come on, differences aside, like, I know there's a lot of people here who are watching that aren't even Titans fans, but, like, let's put the, let's put the spamming and jokes and bullshit aside real quick and, and, and wish Liam a good recovery, man, because, like I said, some things are bigger than football, you feel me? Uh, EC3, Tennessee Titans. Yes, sir, it's gonna be a good one, man. You, you guys gonna be a good one, bro. 
I can't wait. I can't wait to see how this team looks going into week one, huh? You know what I'm saying? Um, EC3 says, I, I appreciate the service you pr pr provide, TA, the best Titans live stream. I mean, we're, we're live every day. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my wife, though, Lady Titan. Like, I go to work, right? And I still come back, you know, and I, I help out as much as I can real quick. And the wife still, the wife is 100% on board with what we're doing here, you guys. We're, we're, we're taking that next push. You know what I'm saying? Um, so again, shout out to her. This wouldn't be possible without her. It, it just, it wouldn't be possible. Uh, let's see who else we got. Uh, Immortal. Everybody's saying heal up, man. Heal up, Liam. There we go, man. Hang in there, big dog. What's up, cool guy? What's up, Bob the Builder? Yeah, everybody in the building, man. We appreciate you, Liam. For real, man. I appreciate your support, man. Get better. Get better, man. Get better so we can we can yell at them sorry ass Texans in the season. Did you guys notice what jersey I'm wearing specifically because the Texans picked up another receiver, like? Was this perfect timing to bring out the Oilers colors? <laughs> oh, man, I love it, bro. I love it. Uh, heal up, buddy. Heal up. Uh, I'm going to bring up the other thing real quick, and we're going to break down some uh, some of this craziness going on, man, because this has been a crazy, crazy uh, offseason, man. The, the, the Titans and the – I almost said the Warriors. I'm done. The Titans and the Texans are, are, are literally in a UFC fight. It's 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 a UFC fight right now. It's it's Rampage Jackson versus uh, Rashad Evans. You know what I'm saying? And and it it's gonna be a slobber knocker this year. I I expect both of these teams to go out there and really, really just go all out, man. I'm serious. I'm so excited about it. I really am. I'm really excited about this season, fellas. I really am. Um, I'm excited. Uh, this is gonna be a good one for the Tennessee Titans, just for the simple fact that, um. We, we, it seems like we kind of figured what was going on. If you think about it, you know, it, it's like, we know it's a passing league. What did the Titans do? We went out and got Legereus Sneed, who's one of the best corners in football. And respectfully, so is, so is Cheeto. Um, this is going to be good. We're, it's, we're going to have to guard a lot. It's going to be a lot. We're going to have to defend. It's just, it is what it is, but we're going to get there, bro. We're going to get there. All right, let's get, let's get into this real quick. Hold on. I'm looking for the, um, yeah, no, no, that, that's cool, guys. That's cool over there. Yeah. Hey, we got, uh, yeah, the members are back, fellas. Uh, I'm going to try to, let me get that real quick for you guys as well, for all the people that were wondering. Sorry, I should have pinned it in the chat. Uh, let me get it up real quick, and then we'll get the, uh, so that you guys can join. The, the memberships are back, finally, right? <laughs> Shout out to all the people who rejoined the memberships and everything like that. But I'm going to get the link right now, and then we're going we're gonna to start today's show uh at the 10 minute mark we're what are we almost there about we're eight minutes in so we're gonna get that that uh that link for you guys and then we are going to uh we're gonna get started and talk about texans uh picking up um stefan diggs and i want to know what you guys say fill up the comment section what do you guys feel about this is crazy like i'm I, I, i'm it is just when you think the texans aren't annoying aren't already annoying they go out and do this shit it's like oh man but did they do the right thing? That's the thing. Did they do the right thing? All right, you guys. We're going to post it in the chat right now. This, uh, here is the channel memberships link. It is right there. I'll be posting it every once in a while for the people that need it. Join it. It's only $2.99, man. Everything's coming, bro. It's back. About fucking time. Um, but, but yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm happy with everything. Uh, let's talk about... Let, let's start this out right here, and we're going to uh, timestamp. Uh, we, we need mods to keep, keep track of these ones, okay? So write it down or something. I don't know. Um, so this is what we're looking at now for, for the, uh, the Texans. Uh, we're kind of talk. Let, let's talk about what their, their starting offense looks like. Um, you know, C.J. Stroud at quarterback. They bring over Mixon from the Bengals, um, who's no scrub. Is he still what he once was? Who knows? Who actually? It, I don't even know if it, if he even needs to be. He he he's a dual threat running back. He he really is. Um, very underrated running back. And then you got Pierce as well. You can use them both. Stephon Diggs joins now with Tank Dell and Nico Collins, who were already really good last year. Dalton Schultz over there at the tight end, and Bobby Slowick running the OC. That's pretty damn impressive. That's pretty damn impressive 
And we haven't even gone into the draft yet. And we haven't even touched the draft yet. Let me let me explain to you again what they what the Texans offense looks like. CJ Stroud going into his second year. Joe Mixon coming over from the Bengals. They needed to clear up some room. It made perfect sense. Texans had money. Uh, a lot of people don't realize Texans were, they had a lot of money to spend. Not as much as us, but they were, they had a lot. Uh, so again, CJ Stroud, Joe Mixon, Damian Pierce, Stefan Diggs, Tank Dell, Nico Collins, Dalton Schultz, Bob, uh, Bobby Slowick as the OC. That's crazy, bro. That's pretty crazy. You think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's some, what, like that's some offense right there. The, the offensive line's. Uh, solid like it's we're gonna need to bring it because again I call CJ Stroud Jason Voorhees for a reason you give him time just like Jason Voorhees you let Jason Voorhees catch you you're done he don't talk much and CJ Stroud's not much of a talker either he don't need to talk that much but but if you give him time to throw he's gonna bring out that machete and just unleash bro and that's what he's done you got to get pressure on him you have to because he's Jason Voorhees out there. And that's coming from a Titans fan, bro. You got to keep it real, bro. The dude's a savage. And if we don't take care of business, he's going to do what he did last year times two. We got to go and do what we do best and go and take it to him. Pause. You got to go and get pressure. You have to. Squad, welcome back to the TA Army, bro. Um, so, you, so look at that. With, with CJ Stroud already doing everything that he's doing... Damian Pierce is not a dual threat running back, but he's a good running back. Uh, Joe Mixon is more of a dual threat running back, a little older, but Damian Pierce will help him share the carries, no issues. Uh, Stephon Diggs, you know, coming off of not his greatest season, uh, you know, a lot of issues, a lot of issues, you know, always arguing when he doesn't get the ball, he's not happy, but everybody knows he's a good receiver. Everybody knows that. Is he still what he once was? I don't know. We'll see. But he's got he's gonna have every opportunity to shine here. This offense has a lot of weapons. A lot of weapons, you guys. So uh it's crazy. He brings that that experience as well. Nico Collins and Tank Dale respectfully are are younger, you know? He's gonna even help them grow. And then Dalton Schultz Schultz brings that, you know, reliability, good hands, good route running. It's like, God damn, man, they're gonna they're gonna be a lot to deal with. And that's why Rand Carthon did what he did. He's like, look. We already know the Texans can throw. You, fuck, we must have... I mean, there was already rumors of these these guys talking about this trade. This char this trade was mentioned for a minute now between the Texans and the Bills. So, Rand Carthon's sitting there like, fuck that. Colts, you you Walmart toilet seat logo happy horses. You guys ain't getting Legereus Need. We're getting them because we got to defend the Texans. Y'all ain't even ready. You don't even know if your quarterback is a, is a running back, a quarterback, a slot receiver, a fucking defensive end. We don't even know what he is yet. We'll find out. But we needed more. We needed more secondary for sure. Roger McCreary, he's gonna hold it down inside, and and Legereus Sneed and Chido Chidobi Awuzie is gonna hold down uh, hold on the outsides, and we're gonna see how we work. Let's go to work. Let's go to war, Texans. Everybody's already crowning them like they've already wrapped up the division. Let's see. Let's see. Let's play. Come on, man. We ain't get, we ain't handing out nothing for free. This ain't Girl Scout cookies. Come on, bro. Let's go to war, man. Yeah, you got a good offense. Yeah, we get that. But we do too. We do too. You know what I'm saying? We have Will Levis. You know what I'm saying? To your CJ Stroud. We have Ty J Spears to your Joe Mixon. We've we've got Tony Pollard to your Debian Pierce. Okay? We've got, I mean, you could pick whatever receiver you want first. Let's just do out of respect. DeAndre Hopkins to your Stephon Diggs, right? I mean, and I know more, more is coming, but we could say the same for you. We're just comparing right now. Uh, Calvin Ridley to your Tank Dell. I mean, that's actually laughable. <laughs> no disrespect, bro. And then Nico Collins, Traylon Burks. So let's just say, come on, bro. Don't count us out. Chig and Josh Wiley together should equal Dalton Schultz. I'm just going to hope. I'm just going to hope so. And, and your OC, I don't give a damn about your OC. We got, we got Brian Callahan, baby. Come on. Look at that. Top of the dome. I'm just telling you, you guys, don't sleep on my offense. Don't think that the Titans ain't going to be competing this year because we're coming. Tennessee Titans are coming too. So, again, great, great, great offensive, uh, uh, you know, roster for great offensive team 
for the for the for the Texans. That's insane. But ours is good too. Our receivers are better than the Texans. I want to see Will Levis versus CJ Stroud both going into this year as starters. Let's see who let's see who has a better year. Let's just see. Let's just see. Your offensive line's better for right now. I'll give you that for right now. Oh man, people think we're so far behind. <laughs> How far are be how far how far behind are we though? Let's let, let's be honest. How far behind are we? Let's get into the comment section real quick uh, because again, this don't work without you guys. Um, I love it, bro. This is awesome. I'm so excited about this season, bro. I can't wait. Everyone's sleeping on the Titans. Go ahead, keep sleeping on us. Keep sleeping on us. He says, "I can't wait for the draft." I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, Alan Darb, dude, Sneed has already dominated him. We're, don't worry, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. We're gonna get into it. Salute, you guys. Let's go. Subscribe, comment, like, do all that crazy stuff, you guys. The memberships is back. Let's go, baby. Uh, so far, we got one of them topics that we wanted to go over. Mods, uh, heads up, by the way. What's up, Ollie? But yeah, for I just wanted to let it. That's why I wanted to kind of go over the uh, the head to head thing. You know what I mean? I, I'm tired of I'm tired of seeing I'm tired of seeing people give the Texans all this credit for their offense. And again, cool, that's cool. But why do people think that the Titans' offense isn't that like at least near that level? Like that doesn't make any sense to me. That's weird to me. We are overlooked at all times, and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. A squad. I want to th I want to thank you again for coming back. To, to that TA Army. I don't know if you really are or if you've been back or not, but if not, that's your first time. Welcome, buddy. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Uh, yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. This is gonna be, I'm telling y'all, bro. This is this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. And the Texans never seen an AFC championship. Dude, the Texans got a lot to learn, bro. Big Dog says Tank Dell is 165 pounds. Goddamn, he is tiny. He is, bro. He is. And, and we know that. Uh, Texans baby says, if you really think about it, uh, the Titans should be dropped down to the XFL because they have never, ever done anything. LOL. Jesus Christ. I remember my first beer. What a goofball. Pfft, what a chode. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Some, some of the things people say, bro, is crazy. Oh, man. I love it, man. I appreciate you, Earth Citizen 3. Yes, so don't worry. We're going to break it down. We just, we're just we always trying to keep up with the comments, everybody. Make sure you get that like button flow, and let's get 100 likes today. Come on, fellas. What are we doing here? We got a two-hour show. We, we got a two-hour show. We haven't even been live for 20 minutes. Come on, bro. Dylan Therrington says, TA, do you think we go all in this free agency and get J Justin Simmons? I hope we get Justin Simmons. Y'all can't tell me he wouldn't fit in perfectly. And 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 and, and can you imagine Amani Hooker next to him? It's going to make, oh, it'd be so great, bro. It'd be so great. And then we wouldn't even have to worry about the safety position anymore until next year. Like, come on, bro. Just make get it done. Let me know what you guys did. Like, come on. Justin Simmons coming over in his prime to help out Amani Hooker, who's who's been battling injuries throughout his career and this, this, and that. Oh, my God. Justin Simmons having three dogs in front of him, including a, a, a an attack dog and Jeffrey Simmons in front of him. Like, come on. We can't. Come on, bro. Let's get it done, y'all. Let's get it done. Lock it up. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. I appreciate everybody in the building, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Yes, sir. And see, we got a live crowd tonight, you guys. Let's get those emojis flowing. How we feeling tonight, man? Use those emojis and tell me how we feeling tonight. Let's go. We closing in on 200 watchers. I appreciate you guys, man. Hell yeah. Uh, Liam Rule says, bro, the Texans are ass. They can't do shit. Bro, I'm, I'm, I want the smoke. I want it all. I, I'm expecting them to be good, but I, I want that. We should all want that. We should all want them to be good. I want to beat the best. I want to face a really good... It doesn't mean anything when we're beating the Texans and it ain't worth a damn. We were whooping their ass the whole Derrick Henry, the whole era, the whole King era. We were throwing Texans across the whole fucking living room. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. But they took time in their back. Now it means something. You know what I'm saying? Now it means something. And our team is back faster than everyone thought we would be. Let's see if the, the Jacksonville Jungle Kitty Cats and let's see if the Walmart Toilet Seat Logo Happy Horses want to come play with us. Let's see. Pause. Let's go, bro. Football is the NFL. W what's up, uh, Juan G? How you doing, bro? 
Uh, Ian says, I might sound crazy, but I think a crazy year from Traylon Burks because he is being so undershadowed right now, and I see a breakout year. It's possible because we've all seen Traylon Burks. We've all seen him do 70-yard catches. We've all seen him, I mean, catch the ball, get knocked out, and still catch the ball. You know what I mean? We've seen him on end arounds. We've seen him stiff arm. We've seen him do some crazy-ass things. He just can't stay on the field. What did I say going into the season? People would ask me, T.A., should we trade him? Should we do No. No. Because the big playability is there. Any any play, he can, he can go and score. It's proven because, because like, like I said, that 70-yard catch, he didn't score on it. But, I mean, it's just an example of big plays after big plays. Even towards the end of last year, the slant routes, going across the middle of the field, going, uh, get, keeping his feet inbounds on, on toe, uh, toe touches on the outside near, near the uh, out of bounds. It's impressive. He showed some impressive-ass things. But he doesn't need to start for two reasons. One, he can stay healthier. He doesn't have to be hit as much. Uh, and two, um, I think maybe he's getting tired, uh, overly tired, maybe, to the point where when he's getting hit, it's just boom, he's out. I I, I'm, I don't know. It could be. Have you ever been so tired? I don't, for all the people who've played, I played basketball growing up. So, I mean, I remember winning three, four, five, six pickup games in a row. And you don't want to get off the court, you know, because, you know, it's, you've earned it. You, you're beating those guys coming up. Every five coming up, you're beating them. You want to stay on the court, but you're tired as fuck. You know what I mean? Every game, you feel it more and more and more. I'm telling you, bro, it's similar. It's similar. I love it, bro. I love it. Traylon Burks, l l let's have a good year. This Let's have a good year this year. Uh, Davis Klein says Diggs is the most overrated receiver in the NFL right now with Odell at a close second. What do you guys think about that? Y'all think Stefan Diggs is a little overrated right now? He's coming off of a year where it wasn't as great as he's normally used to. A lot of problems with Josh Allen. Um, you know, the chemistry looked like it was broken. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, Diggs is a very good receiver, good route runner. Um, he's happy when he's catching balls. When he's not getting balls, he's A.J. Brown. Like, let's be honest about it. Um, is he still elite? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, is he really good? I'm sure he's really good still, of course. I mean, he's 30. Not that. Not the end of the world. Uh, he's a great receiver. Uh, but is he still elite? That's, that's, that's up for debate. We'll see. We'll see what's, what's left in, in, his, in his tank. Uh, otherwise they might just have to go to Tank Dell as number one wide receiver, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to, bro. I had to. I had to do it. I had to do it. Yes, sir. Let's go, man. Look at those likes. Look at those comments. Let's go, y'all. Malik Neighbors is a possibility. It sure is, man. Let's get those likes up, fellas. Come on, fellas. I love it, man. I'm, I'm very happy about it, bro. I'm happy about everything going on. Alan Darby says, T.A., my question is, who is Josh Allen's number one whiteout? Is it going to be the Bills going down? Uh, going down, man, I'm going, I'm glad. Tight. Okay, I see what you're saying. Look, they're going to, they're, uh, where do the Bills pick? Because wherever they're picking is going to be a first round receiver. Uh, so they're going to, they're going to need to address that. I just think that the Chiefs, the Chiefs broke the Bills. The Bills had every opportunity to win a Super Bowl, to get to a Super Bowl, to compete for champ Super Bowls. And he ran into a wall named Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> That's just what it is. They lost every time to them. Couldn't get over it. Could not get over it. Uh, Dylan says, I love your phrases for these teams. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Lady Titan in the building, love you. I love you too. I appreciate you for uh, taking care of the kids while, while uh, I do this. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. After this is over, we getting some ice cream. I want some ice cream. I want some ice cream. You know what I mean? I, I, I it just sounds good, man. I haven't had ice cream in a minute, bro. So I need to get some. I need to get some ice cream. Brian Badillo says Brian Thomas for the Bills. That now that's who they would love to get. It don't mean that's who they're gonna get though. <laughs> oh man, I love it, bro. Uh, is Hassel with sunglasses? Cause there's so many LEDs in there. I don't know what that means, Flynn. I don't know what that means, Flynn. No idea. No fucking idea. I love it. What did Texans baby do this time? I'm not really paying attention, to be honest. <laughs> it is what it is. Fuck it. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like, it, it's crazy that they're able to go out and... It's wild, bro. Juan G says, Bills might get Justin Jefferson. Now, that would be a... That would be impressive. That would be impressive. Like, seriously. 
damn, I didn't even think about that. They should do that. <laughs> they should do that, to be honest. They definitely should do that. The fuck is this? All right, let me zoom in on that. All right, you guys. So the Tennessee Titans. All right, start this one right here. Uh, time uh, mods. The Tennessee Titans. You, you guys. We got a. We got a tough. Uh, we've got a tough. We've got a tough outing going against some of these receivers. So um, you know, Rand Carthon looking at all of these. Um, looking at all these corners and stuff, or all these receivers and all these teams that we're playing this year. He knew we needed corners. Um, the Titans. Uh, you know, this year, twenty twenty four. You know, we've got to go up against, you know, the Vikings who have Justin Jefferson. We've got to go up against the Bengals who have who? Jamar Chase. we got to go up against the Texans twice who have who? Stephon Diggs. we got to go up against the Bears who who have now Keenan Allen and DJ Moore. we got to go against the Commanders as well. And everybody knows that knows football knows Terry McLaurin is arguably the most underrated number one receiver in football. Uh... Not number one over. You get what I'm saying. Don't be a smart ass. We get to play the Lions. And the Lions, I hope we fucking tame those kitty cats because their fans are starting to get too fucking bold. Uh, they got Amon Ross St. Brown. Uh, the sun god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't That shit ain't working over here. And Michael Pittman, we're going to face him twice with the Colts. Um I would say we're going to play uh, the Jaguars, Calvin Ridley, but we got him. <laughs> yeah, so again, uh, the, uh, the, Col the, the Colts, uh, I'm, so, I'm still surprised. They went out and signed everybody back. They have the same people. Literally, the Colts have the same people. Um, but the Titans are going to have their hands full. So Cheeto Awuzie, uh, uh, Chidobi Awuzie, respectfully, Cheeto, uh, and... and um, and Legeria Sneed are going to have to hold the outsides with Roger McCreary on the inside uh, because they got their hands full. Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Stephon Diggs twice, DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, Terry McLaurin, Amon, Saint, Amon Ross St. Brown, Michael Pittman Jr. twice, uh, and, and the list goes on and on. So I think for all those idiots, goofballs, freaks, and, and people that just don't really pay attention to the, the reality of football and sports and NFL – People want to say the Titans overpaid for Sneed and Awuzie. Y'all are out of your damn mind. Y'all are out of your mind. Because look at what we're going up against. It's a pass-happy league anyway. You get what I'm saying? You've got to be able to cover. You've got to. Last year we had, respectfully, Sean Murphy Bunting and Christian Fulton. Christian Fulton is terrible. I'd rather send out baby TA. He's two years old. and I And I guarantee you... He's going to get burned every play, but so did Christian Fulton. So what does it even matter, right? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least my at least my son's not going to sit there and blame his teammates. You know what I'm saying? For his failures. I promise you my two-year-old won't blame his teammates. Like, it's ridiculous. Christian Fulton, you tomato can-ass waste of a player. I can't wait. Can't wait to see you in L.A. to watch you get shitted on by Calvin Ridley and everybody we got on the offensive side of the ball. I can't wait to watch it. That was just beautiful, bro. Let me let me get back there. Hell yeah, that's dope. <laughs> it's crazy though how that happens though. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, here we go, you guys. Here's a yeah. This is crazy. This is crazy. I I think um no, nah, it's all right. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I'm I'm 100% for it, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Before we get into the next comment, we'll get to your guys' comments real quick. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> he said, Should I, you can do whatever y'all, uh, no, you're good. Don't worry about it, bro. Just let it, you know what? It's all good. Alan says, T, I made some honey buns cake with homemade ice cream for the first time. It was fire, man. That's, that's legit, bro. That's legit. That's legit. I remember, I remember when I was growing up, my mom used to do the, uh, the honey bun, but the ice icing one or whatever. Yeah, in the microwave for us. That shit was fire. Old school, man. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, shit, man. Question. Would you rather take Alt at 7 or Darius Robinson at 38 or Dallas Turner at 7 and Jordan? I, I want a receiver at 7 or trade back. 
How about that? How about that? Uh, let's see. Casey Fanart says, I would rather have Stephon Diggs than Calvin Ridley. You're a damn liar. Anybody anybody else believe that? Anybody else? Would you guys rather do that? That's crazy. And Bills, that's true too. Titan South Bills could trade for T. Higgins too. That'd be a great pickup for them. Either or, they should do both of those. They need receivers. They need receivers bad, bro. Jakester says, Diggs owns Sneed. That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, that might be the dumbest thing I have ever seen in my whole life. That's crazy. Oh, man. See, it's just like, like, like you, some of y'all aren't, it's not even, it's not even realistic, bro. Oh, man. It's all good, though. I love it. It's all good. It's all fun and games. It's all, it's all fun and games. Um, but we all know, uh, you know, we're going to uh, make sure you clip this one too, fellas. Uh, Titans, uh, cornerback Legereus Sneed has actually played five games versus the Bills. And here's what he did to Stephon Diggs. In five games, three catches out of 10 for 37 yards, 30.0 reception rate, and zero touchdowns. So... What I was trying to explain earlier be, before, before uh, you know, we went into other things, I was trying to explain to you guys that the Texans, it's okay. Yeah, they picked up a good player. Cool. But we've got, we've got Legereus Sneed. He, <laughs> he completely locks, locks him down, okay? He'll follow Diggs around and Diggs will be shut down, Okay. That, that means Cheeto, you, whoever's on the opposite outside, you shut him down. And Roger, you get whoever's left. The rest goes to the, uh, to the defensive front line. You got you to gotta you gotta make moves, man. Get some pressure to Jason Voorhees. Get some damn pressure. I love it, bro. Pretty good stuff, man. It's pretty good stuff. I'm just, like I said, I'm just excited about, about what's going on. It's crazy, man. Uh, Justin Simmons, obviously, everybody wants him to come over. I see you guys talking about it. I do, bro. I really, I, trust me, I get it. I get it. Uh, Will Levis, you guys, is getting ready to have his breakout year. Clear as day. Clear as day. You're not going to be able to stop him with all, with all the things going on, with all the weapons. Ah, oh, man, let's go. Uh, let's talk about... Uh, how about this one? Legereus Sneed's cap hits, you guys. For 2024, it's 9.96. 2025, 24 million. 2026, 21 million. And 2027, 21.4 million. That leaves the Tennessee with 24.71 million in remaining effective cap space. That's the fourth most in the NFL behind the Eagles, Commanders, and Patriots. Let that sink in. Titans still have plenty of money to play with. <laughs> oh, man. What are we doing here? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, man, oh, man, I love it. Some good stuff going on right now, you guys. <laughs> Look at that throw from Will Levis. How the fuck does he do that? It's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous how they do that. <laughs> no, I hear you guys for sure. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Hey, we have super chat for all the people who want their... Because there's people that are saying, read my comment. I can't read them on you guys, trust me. But we do have super chat and cash app. Uh, that that will that will help automatically. Uh, squad says Titans own Houston Peep TA's jersey. <laughs> squad, I'm telling you, bro. Also, if you're a member, if you're a channel member, your 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 comments will always be priority in the chat. <laughs> uh, Liam says you miss the king, or are you fine with Tony? I mean, I miss him, but it is what it is. We can't just sit here and cry about it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's it'll be okay. We're gonna move on. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna win a lot of games this year. Credit says TA. All the Texans now have. Or have now is CJ Sh Stroke, Damian Earpiece, Stefan Only Runs Digs, Tank Fell, and Nico Colones. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm going to clip that one too, bro. That was creative, man. I'll give you some credit, bro. I'll, <laughs> I'll give you some credit, bro. That was creative as shit. Uh, Motivate Growth says Jags still win the division, son. This guy's never seen football before, has he? Where the fuck is my phone? There we go. Yeah, buddy. 
Hit that like button, you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Quit playing games. Let's get it going, fellas. Let's get it going. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Let's go, let's go. Hell yeah. I appreciate everybody for, for hell yeah. Keep subscribing. Let's get it. Let's get it, fellas. Let's get it. All right, let's get to the front. We got another super chat from EC3, Earth Citizen 3. He says, sample super chat. <laughs> appreciate you, bro. Oh, little brother. My little brother has joined the membership. I appreciate you, Shane A. in the building. You're going to have to switch that name up, bro, and put something, uh, you know, your, your sports team related, bro. Appreciate you. That's my little brother, IRL. Yes, sir, my little bro. Shout out to him. Goof Troop says, hey, Titans fans, do you really think we can get a year one starter on the, o the old line outside of the first year? Real quick? Dude, you got to, re to re-say that like 12 times, bro. Jakester says, Diggs, Collins, Dell is better than Hopkins, Ridley, and Burks. What do you guys think? How about we turn this one into its own video? I, I'm, hopefully you mods are saving these, bro. Um, you have Stefan Diggs, Nico Collins, and Tank Dell. The Titans have, as of right now, have DeAndre Hopkins, Calvin Ridley, and Traylon Burks. Okay? Who do you think has the better receiving core? I mean, let's just go in line. Uh, let's do... Stephon Diggs versus Hopkins. I, I I would say, to be honest, Hopkins. I'm going to be honest, bro, but let's just say it's a tie, respectfully. Ridley's way better than Collins, and, and I guess Dell's better than Burke. So what are we, even? You guys tell me. You guys tell me. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Like I, My point is that everyone likes to just give the Texans their props for what's going on, but they're not giving us our dues. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. Sensei says TA wants wide receiver at seven. He knows how crazy we would be with four wide receivers, including Burkswood. I'm telling you, I want a receiver at seven. Uh, cool guy 90, 9, 997 says, yo, Chiefs fan here. Sneed was really good, but he ain't really an interception guy. He just locks them up and doesn't let them score touchdowns or yards within y'all the best. And, of course, Sneed. Um, uh... I'm confused. Are you saying he's 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 uh, he's really good? He just doesn't get interceptions. Is that basically what you're saying? As long as the other person's not catching the ball, I don't. I'm okay with whatever he, he's doing. Interceptions aren't always going to come. Look at uh, Deron Bland from the Cowboys, or 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 even uh, uh, Diggs, their corner. You know, uh, the year before, how many interceptions are they getting? But how many touchdowns were they giving up too? You know what I'm saying? It's like there, there, there goes. There's, uh, there's, there's always pros and cons with everything. Um, if we're, if, if the only con is he doesn't get a lot of interceptions, like that's, that's fine with me. Nobody's even catching the ball. He took Tyree Kill and threw him on a fucking table, pause, and 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 cut him up and turned him into tuna salad, bro. Literally, that like that's what he does. He he takes these elite receivers and he's like he said in his press conference, the first five yards is mine. You ain't going fucking anywhere in the first five yards. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. This is crazy. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see Sneed just fucking shut everyone down. Literally. Hell yeah. We had we had 200 over watching that at one point, you guys. Yes, sir. Hit that like button, man. Let's get those likes up, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. Um, let's see. Uh... Hyde says, I was watching Titans All-22 earlier, and fuck, that that need alt over Marvin Harrison Jr. neighbors. I can't bear watching that O-line again. Levis got enough weapons. We can get whoever later. Does he, though? Does he? Does he? I don't know. I love it, bro. Appreciate you for being here. William Lewis says, I don't think Sneed will be on digs 100% uh, because Collins is number one wide receiver. Then it leaves Tank Dell free to roam. That's not true, William. That he's not a Tank Dell is not their number one receiver with Ste with Stephon Diggs on the team. It's not. It's not true. It, it's just not. Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs is is their number one receiver right now. Doesn't mean he can't. It doesn't mean it, it can't change. But right now, Stephon Diggs is that is going to be the number one receiver. There's no debating that. <laughs> Allen with a great comment. People are forgetting Tank Dell tore his ACL in the last week of the season. He won't be a major factor this year. He, he again that, that that's that's something that's not talked about enough. Tank Dell tearing it that late in the season, he's not going to be ready. 
And then even when he is, look at Harold Landry. And some people heal faster. Harold Landry took forever to heal up. But some people say it takes a whole season for you to get back to your normal self. <laughs> Tank Dell ain't going to be ready for that one. Just going to keep it 100 right there. So you guys had to let me know what that is. Well, like I said, it's, it's something that people just aren't really realizing. <clears throat> Titans fan says, I want a raw receiver at seven, then offensive tackle in the second round. Or if Rand gets a late first round, come to the Titans neighbors, tighten up. I would love to have neighbors. He's so explosive. God, he's a beast. Yes, sir. You guys like, comment, and subscribe. A uh, big dog says Tank Dell has may have speed, but he can't take any hits. Yeah, he's he's a little guy, man. The pads weigh more than he does. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. <laughs> I appreciate everybody for supporting the channel. I'm gonna post the uh, the link again for membership for the people who didn't see it. I'm gonna post it again for the people who couldn't see it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Uh, Sensei says, when we add neighbors, we will be way better. Bro, it's going to be crazy. How is everybody feeling, though? Let's get into the, the poll real quick. Over 200 votes already. What grade would you give Texans for getting Stefan Diggs? A, 55%. B, 27%. C, 7%. F, 10%. So clear as day. Clear as day. Everybody pretty much agreeing that it was a pretty damn good pickup. And again, with Tank Dell not being there, uh, at least for probably up to close to half, at least halfway through the season, probably, maybe, we'll see. Um, great pickup, but we'll see what he has left. Oh, man, neighbors will be so dope. Oh, shit. Uh, Alan Darby says, TA, I don't, I don't know why Jags uh, talking about they going to win the AFC South, but they can't beat us to get uh, to get to a playoff. Don't worry about the Jaguars. The Texans are are the only people we need to be really focused on. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't. It's all right, man. It's all right. What's up, Saucy? I like that. I like that badge, bro. He says. Uh, Alan says. What about Brock? Talk Brock Bowers. What do you guys think of Brock ba Brock Bowers? Do you guys want Brock Bowers to be in the Tennessee Titans? What are you guys thinking? You guys want Brock Bowers to be a Tennessee Titan? He could sit there and do it all. You can line him up at the TE position. You can motion him out, you know, ISO him to the outside. If a linebacker follows him, you send him deep on the go route. If you got a small guy on him, box his little ass out, throw it up, 50-50, or just box him out on a slant, get the inside position, and get the first down. Crazy. He said to <laughs> That is crazy. Yeah, the Texans D line solid, man. But we gonna we gonna get them. We gonna get them. I'm not worried. I'm not too worried about that. Tyrone says Texans just won the Super Bowl. That's crazy. Let's let let's start there. That's crazy. Uh, Jakester says is DeAndre Hopkins a top five? I don't think so. But it, Diggs is yes. You don't you don't watch football then? Where the where the hell was Stephon Diggs a top five in football last year? You're out of your damn mind. You're out of your damn mind. <laughs> what the hell kind of football is he fucking watching? That's crazy. Uh, he said, didn't say Tank Dell was number one, Nick Nico Collins. No, none, none of them are. None of them are. You, you think, you think that, you think, you think Diggs is going to go over there and be like, yeah, right. Get, come on, bro. That's not happening, man. I mean, like I said, as the season goes on, we'll see. The number one receiver will show himself. But as of right now, going into that, you can, there's no way possible that they're going to sit there and say that their they're number one's over Diggs. They, they, that's crazy right now. You know what I mean? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> he said, dude, this is out. that's crazy. Yeah, but Tank Dell's quick, man. Tank Dell's super quick. Uh, too bad... Says, uh, I'm a Chiefs fan. That's what's up. Shout out to the Chiefs. Psych, fuck the Chiefs. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have a problem with the Chiefs. I'm just, I'm just tired of them winning. I think everybody doesn't want, everybody's done with, you know what I'm saying? Like, let somebody else win. Let somebody else win. What's up, donkey? Hoosier says, Colts. Yes, I know we are trash. I like that guy now. He's cool. Uh, Alan says, Neighbors has gone to the Giants at six. Hey, the NFL draft is a wild monster, bro. We have no idea. We have no idea. Sensei says, I give the Texans an A. I just think that the Sneed is a 
S++ rating because he locked him down 37 yards in five games. I know, no cat, like no touchdowns. No, he shut his shit down. He shut his shit down, bro. He said Dell fractured his leg. Is that what it was? Is that what it was? What, what did he did he did he was it a fibia or a tibia? Was it something like that? What 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 exactly? Somebody put his injury in the um in the comment exactly what it was. What did it say fractured his fibula? Is that is that what he did? Damn. That's a bad that's bad, bro. That's that's what damn. That might be worse, bro. That might be fucking worse. That might be worse. Like, that sucks, bro. That's crazy. I don't, I don't, yeah, that's, 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 that's rough, bro. That's fucking rough, man. He's his name five receivers better than Diggs. Um, okay, let, 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 let's, let's entertain this. Uh, five receivers better than, than Diggs. Uh, Justin Jefferson, um, Jamar Chase, um, Tyreek Hill, um, AJ Brown, I still think DeAndre Hopkins is better than him. I, I I really don't care what anyone says. DeAndre Hopkins has to be better than him. Like, look at what he did last year. Do you, do you think that he wasn't better than him? Like, <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. Like the like like it, it's it's just weird to me because because like Diggs Diggs brought negativity and and chaos to to his teammates to his locker room. I wouldn't even want him on my team. I wouldn't want him on my team at all because of because of just what he brings alone, that negativity. And you're gonna risk bringing that guy over into your locker room. That's a young locker room that 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 already has this stability and everything that else is involved. I mean, we could throw Garrett Wilson on top of there and a lot of other people. Like like there, there's there's so many other uh there's so many other receivers that, that we could say are better. I mean, Calvin Ridley to me, like, come on, bro, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is like I I I I'm just confused with like I thought. I just thought he was kidding. He does he really think Stephon Diggs is a top five receiver in the NFL? That's crazy to me, bro. It just doesn't make any damn sense. Uh, Fanny Boy says Stephon trade is crazy. T.A. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Top five though? Nah, that ain't definitely ain't happening. I mean, Adams is debatable as well for sure. I, I mean, Adams is really good. I mean, it's weird. It's just like, what is he talking about? Like, what the fuck? Holy crap. Yeah, CD Lamb was better too. I mean, shit, you can even say Mike Evans is better. I mean, like I said, it was stupid. It's like I I, I named five off the top of my head like it was nothing. I'm just sitting here like, is he serious? Did he not watch him play last year? The fuck? What is he watching, bro? I mean, dude, <laughs> everyone's over there naming like every receiver now. That shit's funny as hell. I'm done, bro. Oh man, I'm done. Oh yeah, Debo, Debo like a running back quarter or running back receiver, fullback, tight. He's everything, bro. Debo's a beast. Oh, that's crazy, bro. It's true though, right? Like seriously, like there, there's so many, there's so many better receivers than him right now. It's just like that was a silly thing to say, bro. Shout out to all the people that's donated, all the people who have become members. Shout out to you guys. It's crazy, bro. I'll move this down a little bit. I need to turn this on. It's getting hot. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's go. He says Randy Moss at his current age. Yeah. Justin Jefferson, man. Justin Jefferson's the best receiver in football, I would say. Honestly, I would say. Yes, you guys, 53 likes. Let's get those likes up, you guys. Over 150 watching. For all the people looking for the like, hit that three little, little dots up here. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Join us for all future live streams. We're live every single day on top of dropping uh, videos in between all the time, you guys. Trust me. Subscribe, like, comment. Let's get it popping. I need to know what you guys are thinking right now because this is crazy, bro. There might literally there might have been 10 15 receivers better than him last year. That that's why it doesn't make any sense why he said that. It's like what is he he ain't watching football. He playing Madden from 4 years ago or something like that. It's crazy. Yep. He said Stroud versus the whole Titans roster. You big mad, bro. 
You big mad. Uh, uh, top tier, man. I like that red low. He said Adams has 20 more, 8 more touchdowns in 14 more games. That's crazy, right? That's crazy, bro. Shout out to everybody. Let's go, man. We still got an hour 15 left to go. Hour 15 left. We're trying to get 100 likes before we get out of here. Let's get it popping, fellas. How we feeling? How we feeling? Donkey says that the Titans can't get Malik Neighbors. They should get... I think if the Titans can't get Malik Neighbors, they should get Marvin Harrison Jr. or trade back. Because Joe Alt will probably be gone by then. But if he if Joe Alt's there, I'm still down to take Joe Alt for sure. Yeah, Mason says Titans can at least stop Diggs if Sneed's not hurt. Yeah, Diggs is gonna be Diggs is gonna be locked down. Diggs will be locked down. Jakester, you don't know a damn thing about football. That's why your picture's a picture of some dude throwing a stupid baseball. Wrong sport, kid. Over Chicken says Diggs was a top five wide receiver like a year ago or so, but he had a massive drop off this past season. Yeah, like, I, it's just like, and he's a terrible teammate. It's crazy, bro. It's like, people are wild. But, but again, let them, let them do what they want to do. It's all good. No big deal. No big deal. Let them. Let them say what they want to say, do what they want to do. No big deal. Look at that. DeAndre Hopkins says the game has changed. Fear of God. He got his football. I don't know what he's wearing, man. But DeAndre Hopkins is ready to go, bro. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think of this? Teron Davenport said, uh, an ideal trade for the Titans to pursue. Send the Raiders number 7 and 106 for number 1344, number 77. Raiders get J.J. McCarthy. Wow, that's interesting. What do you guys think about that? That's interesting. I can't believe Mar damn Mariota, dude. Wow. Mariota, Mariota, bro. Hey, is everyone sold on Joe Alt? I need everybody in the comment section. Put your team's name in the chat, in all caps, and let me know who you want to draft, and we'll go, go over them right now. It's crazy. This is crazy. Oh, my God, this stupid-ass Colts and... Jaguar. I can't stand those stupid teams. What a dumb team. What a dumb team. Let me look this one up real quick. Where you at, big dog? There he is. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Legarius Sneed, welcome, bro. That's what I'm talking about. This is We needed this so bad. We needed it so bad, bro. Yep. Ooh. He said Bowers all the way for me. Hoosier man says, Why did all the tight why did the Titans move from Dallas to Calif dude? You don't know shit about football. Like at all. Nothing. You know nothing about football. EC3 Tennessee Titans. Amazing Kate Cajun says Brock Bowers. Uh Juan G says, uh Okay, I see. Jayster says Texans. Cajun Titans. William says Colts Jags fighting for last place. That's a fact, bro. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. They're terrible. Terrible. Joseph Alt or trade back, says J. George. Carlos says, hello from Memphis. Tighten up. Yes, sir. What's up, Carlos? How you doing, bro? That's crazy. Uh, Titan Saucy says, Alt. But if neighbors, I don't know. So hard to choose from. It's crazy, right? It's kind of hard, man, because there's so many things that go into it. It's like, ah, it's frustrating. It's fucking frustrating, bro. So crazy. Just so, so crazy. How we all feeling, fellas? How we all feeling, fellas? Speak to me. How we all feeling about this massive pickup? About this massive, massive pickup? You know what I mean? Huge-ass pickup. crazy man <laughs> oh man hey uh people on the discord for all the uh all the mods I, I see i see what you posted right now it's so funny don't talk about it on the, on the thing don't talk about it but I, I i see it's funny right it's funny how many people try to do everything we're doing it's so funny fucking fools i love it though man we killing it over here we are having a really really good time lately man the channel has been booming man the uh 
The memberships is back. Super chat is back. Um, the full time content live two hours every single night is back. Oh, actually, it's continued. It's still going, man. This shit's crazy. So shout out to everybody that that's been supporting the channel and and, and enjoying it because that's what matters the most. Like I said, if you're not having fun, then it, it's not. I'm not doing my job as as a content creator. You know what I'm saying? Damn. We got 62 likes, y'all. Let's get it up, man. We need 38 more likes for today's goal. We're going to read the poll once again. What grade would you give the Texans? What grade would you give the Houston Texans for getting Stephon Diggs? A, 54%. B, 27%. C, 8%. And F, 10%. Holding strong. So again, a lot of people admitting and acknowledging the Texans for doing really well. It's crazy, bro. Hey, uh, this guy says, hate San Diego not having a team right now. Go watch any games. Or, Hey, but what if what if the Chiefs come to San Diego? What if the Chiefs come to San Diego? What if that happened? That'd be crazy, right? The Chiefs in my home city, I'd be like, fuck y'all. I would make, I'd make it hell for them. <laughs> oh, man. He said, Michael said, did you used to be a San Diego Chargers fan? Nah, man, I, I didn't. And the reason, the reason me, the reason for it, is because is because I always looked at it like I wanted to have my own team. I didn't like how I I didn't like how every I don't know why I just always thought that way. Like I always wanted to have my own team. Like n nobody was a Titans fan in San Diego. There's still barely any Titans fans in San Diego. So that's kind of that's kind of how how it began. You know what I mean? Uh, Sooner State says I'm so mad about Diggs going to Houston as a Titans fan. It's okay, bro. We 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 got we got the kryptonite. We'll be good. We'll be okay, bro. Titan Sal says, I'm getting bigger on Joe Alt. We need to give Levis a brick wall so he can have time to go, uh, what? Have time to ball. We go receiver at 38 or maybe defensive lineman. Could happen. Again, I'm, 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 I'm actually kind of hoping for trading back. Like, I just want more picks, bro. Like, if Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr. or Joe Alt's not there and we still draft somebody, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed, bro. Uh, Liquid says, what's your opinion on the Bears trading for Keenan Allen and DeAndre Swift? I'm not big on DeAndre Swift personally, but I think the Bears did the right thing in getting Keenan Allen. He's he's um, he's one of the best route runners in football. There's no debating that. He's got great hands. He's a good leader. Uh, he's gonna help. He's gonna help a lot. Uh, you know, with the development of, um, you know, the offense of that of, of the Chicago Bears going forward. Uh, squad says, definitely don't don't want to trade back. Some people don't, man. William says that would be crazy. Chiefs moving to Dago. I could see City County of San Diego giving a stadium to the Chiefs just to throw it, throw it in Dean Spanos and the Chargers' face, bro. That'd be crazy, bro. Can you believe that? Nobody thought St. Louis Rams are gonna go back to L.A. Probably, but they fucking did. You never know, bro. Oh man. Uh, Titan Saucy says same T.A. I want picks. Hey Saucy, I just feel like we could. I feel like we could flip it. You know what I mean? I feel like we could flip it. I feel like we could flip it easy. I feel like we could flip it for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Amazing Cajun says, no trade back. Hold your own. Hold your own nuts. <laughs> hey. That's funny. Uh, William says, when Oilers were in Houston, I used to sport my gear all the time in San Diego. Even at Grossmont High School back in the day, used to wear my Oilers uh, saying starter, Oilers starter jacket at school all the time. That's funny, Grossmont High School. That's wild. Yeah, that's not. I'm not. I'm not near there. I'm not near there. But I, I've I, I've been in the area many times. Uh, let's see. Hyde says I'm kind of locked in on Joe Alt. Levis needs time to throw to his weapons. I mean, every every quarterback needs time. You know what I mean? Every quarterback needs time. Oh yeah, the Oilers are great, bro. Liquid says, who do you think the Bears will draft? I don't know, bro. But they gotta they gotta get receiver and they gotta get quarterback. So. I actually think they should go Marvin Harrison Jr. first, and then and then get uh, and then get whatever quarterbacks left <laughs> at later on or something, or or just wait until, until next year. You know, just shit the bet on purpose and then get a number one quarterback next year or something. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. What are we doing here? We got all these people watching. Let's get. Come on, bro. Pause for the cause. What are we doing here? Everybody, go hit like. What are you doing? Go hit that thumbs up. Come on, fellas. I see y'all watching. I see everybody laughing and having a good time. 
Come on, we're only halfway through. We're halfway through. Let's go, y'all. If I got to give y'all that energy, I want it back. Come on, fellas. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up, baby. Come on, let's go. Come on. 35 more and 150 watching? What are we doing? Come on, fellas. Ah, oh, man. Commander says, I, I would Michael Penix, bro. I think Michael Penix is terrible, but some people are really high on him. Uh, Liquid says they have DJ Moore. And yeah, yeah, DJ Moore is going to help as well, but they still need uh, I, Marvin Harrison Jr. I just wouldn't pass on him. I just think he's special. Uh, Hoosier says, I hate TA, but I subscribe. That's wild. How do you how, how do you hate me? That's weird. Like, why would you hate? What did I do? To, what did I ever do to you to make you hate me? That's crazy. Unbelievable, man. Some of y'all are wild, bro. Literally saying you hate me and you don't know me. You know, you don't know me. Uh, the Amazing Cajun says, TA, who do you think the Titans will pick at the seventh pick? I, I don't know. It just depends who's available. That, that's just what it's going to come down to. It just depends who's available. I want Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, or Joe Alt. If they're not there, trade back. Just trade back. What's up, Brandon? How you doing, buddy? Hoosier says, I hate you because your mods time me out. Well, you be saying some stupid-ass stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're, aller we're allergic to stupid shit over here. And you say a lot of stupid shit over here. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? They got to do what they got to do. I don't blame them. Half the shit I see you, you be saying is crazy. It's, it's like, what, what is wrong with him? What's wrong with him, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to chill. Just chill out a little bit. Just chill out a little bit. Tighten the fuck up. Cool guy, I see you, bro. My guy, though. How you doing? How you doing, bro? How's everything going? Oh, I love it, man. I love it. Everybody, man. Everybody's having a good time today. I love it. I love it. I still can't believe. I still can't believe that this is like this is literally what's going on. The Tennessee Titans are ready, man. We're only 30 likes away, man. Let's kill that. Come on, fellas. We got one hour to go. Oh, man. Um, all right, let's talk about this. Uh, uh, clip this timestamp, 62 mins. Uh, wild. Derrick Henry said signing with the Cowboys would have been perfect. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? He said it would have been perfect, but they never fucking called him. They ain't ho I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I'm reading his quote. They ain't holla at me at all. I would have been... It would have been crazy. I thought it had been some type of some type of reach out, some type of talks or whatever. The Dallas Cowboys never even reached out to Derrick Henry. Can you fucking believe that? I told all the Cowboy fans, you guys have a really solid football team. But if you were to have a running back that could really help Dak in that offense and in, in that in, in the playoffs? Playoffs? Y'all shit the bed, no diaper, Dallas. Diaper, shit, Dallas. <laughs> I mean, damn, this is crazy. Y'all shit the bed, no diaper, in your cowboy blue and your silver stars. Like, this is crazy, bro. You didn't go and get the king a deal? You didn't offer him nothing? Oh, my God. Wow. Fuck. Dallas Cowboys. Never called the king about going over to the Cowboys and helping win a championship, a Super Bowl, a Lombardi trophy. Wow. So the Ravens flapped their little fucking purple wings over. <sighs> wow. Just fucking wow. Just fucking wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's crazy to me. That's, that's, cr that's crazy to me. What are we talking about? Like, <laughs> what? What are the Cowboys doing? What the hell? Damn, bro. That is just, yeah, that's not smart at all, bro. That's just, that's just the craziest shit. That's just crazy. Um, whew. Yeah, Stefan Diggs is over there. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Jameson Winston, bro. Look at those Texans, man. The Texans ready to compete? Kiss my ass. Y'all ain't competing nothing. Not with us here, baby. Anyways, the um, 
the Buffalo Bills when they traded, it was a twenty uh it was a twenty five second round pick that they got from the it was from via from the Vikings. I wonder how they even got that. Uh, and the Texans received Stephon Diggs a sixth round pick and a fifth round pick from. Tw <laughs> oh my God, bro! These Bills are fucking crazy, bro. This is crazy. The Bills are hilarious. Like, what are they doing? Oh my God. Damn, finessed, bro. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it works. You got both Diggs brothers in Texas. That's just crazy to me. It, it's crazy to think that that's... Oh, man. What do you guys... How are you guys feeling about all this? How are you guys feeling about the Texans going out there and doing this? Like, are, are you guys shocked at all? Is anybody shocked? Because we all knew that the Texans were serious. What are you guys feeling about all this? It's crazy, right? Damn, bro. That's crazy. I'm going to get to your guys' comments real quick. I appreciate you. TA is the best. He says, yo, TA's drip is 100. I appreciate that, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, he's a Titan who says Bears are going to go quarterback and edge. We'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to keep keep up. You guys are killing it right now. People, you think that TA is level 5? <laughs> This guy's crazy, bro. TA, what do you think the Titans... Uh, TA, what if the Titans draft neighbors at seven and, and use three picks on offensive tackle? Uh, well, we need blockers, that's for sure. He says, Cowboys thinking about trading Dak? I don't think so. I doubt it. I doubt it. Maddie says, W hat. I appreciate that. Uh, Jakester says, what happens when the Titans get the one seed? I mean... Then we all get happy and, 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 and enjoy a, a bye week in the playoffs, right? Uh, Cyclops says Bills lost their two other uh, top two receivers. Facts. Um, appreciate you, Billy. I see what you be doing, bro. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, man. Titan Saucy, bro. Titan Saucy. Hey, we're 30 likes away, you guys. We still have an hour to go. 30 likes away, one hour to go. I'm challenging all of you guys. Let's go. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment. Let's get it popping. Come on, you guys. Oh, that cool guy, Jay, says, if, if you aren't excited as a Titans fan, then you are not a real Titans fan. Some people ain't, though. Some people ain't ready for that realness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sensei Tank says it doesn't surprise me that the Texans are going all in. They are supposed, they are supposed to do this in this situation. I think that Diggs is overrated though, and a bad locker room guy. He is selfish. I'm with you, bro. He's very selfish and he's very uh, ego bound. He's very he 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 has to have the ball even when they win. If he's not catching the balls while they win, he doesn't care. It's crazy. He's like, what? Why are you doing that, bro? It's crazy, man. I appreciate everybody for that support, man. Seriously. I really do, man. We've had over a, well over 100 people the whole time. We reached over 200 watchers at one point. Make sure you guys continue to show that support. Continue to subscribe. Uh, we have a real shot at reaching 14,500 subscribers. We might reach 14,500 subscribers today, but only if you guys all step up and hit that red button, fellas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Vader says, bro, y'all stupid Titans used to be Oilers. <laughs> Vader's big mad. Big mad. Vader is big mad. I love it, man. Titan Storm says, what's up, TA? I'm new, but really quick. Should I take uh, the S out of the name in Titans or should I keep it normal? Titan Storm or Titans Storm? It's your, it's your name, bro. It's your name, bro. Whatever you want to do, bro. I pre I, did you have a former name that we would all recognize you by or are you just new to the channel? I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, Jack says, would you like CeeDee Lamb on the team? On the Titans, uh, I mean, sure, why not? But but I, I, we don't, I mean, it's not going to happen. Dallas isn't going to let him go, so it's like, what does it even mean? William Lewis says, great job, TA. Got to run, peace out. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, uh, for all the people, again, asking how to hit like. They're like, how do you do it? You go up here, the top three uh, up on your phone. You hit those three dots. Hit the like button and subscribe, you guys. We have a real chance, a real chance to, to hit 14,500. Uh, 
we're we're pretty close, you guys. So again, hit that, man. Let's get let's get that today. Let's get that today and let's celebrate. I don't even have work tomorrow, bro. I don't even have work tomorrow. If we hit, I'm a, I'm a challenge, y'all. You think I'm playing? If we hit fourteen thousand five hundred tonight, we'll do two shows for you. We'll do two shows for you tomorrow, including the night show. Will be three hours. Will be three hours long. If we get 14,500, let's get it, man. Let's fucking go. Tennessee Titans fans, how we doing? Titans fans, spam Titans in the chat. Come on, baby. Come on, Titans fans. Woo! Let's go, man. Billy Scott, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, buddy. Uh, let's go. Titans forever says, ain't nobody care about the Texans wide receivers. We have a shut, we have shut down corners. Talk to them. Talk to them. Let's go. Tell them, Titans forever. People need to realize that shit. I love it. What's up, Zach? How you doing, bro? He said, what's up, TA? Appreciate you for being here, big dog. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Let's go, man. Ah, there's my Titans wave. Let's go, everybody. Spam the word Titans. Let's go. Come on. We ain't scared of no fucking Texans. I love it, bro. Y'all are kicking ass, man. I love it, bro. I love it. I love it, man. I love it. This is crazy, bro. We're killing it tonight. Where, where is dude's name at? Hold on. Let me, let me find it. Um, Stefan Diggs' his name is weird, bro. Like, how does he spell it? I've never seen a Stefan spell his name like that. It's usually like S-T-E-P-H-O-N or S-T-A-P-H-O-N. That's pretty crazy, though. Oh, man. The head coach for the Bills after trading Stefan Diggs to the Texans. Clip this. It's always tough to lose a star on your team. This is like when Al-Qaeda tragically lost Osama bin Laden. What the fuck? Am I, am I the only one that heard that? Do I need to... I'm going to repeat that for you guys. This is Bill's head coach, Sean McDermott, after trading Stephon Diggs to the Texans... For a bag of Pringles. A box of whatever. It's always tough to lose a star on your team. This is like when Al-Qaeda tragically... Tr what? Tragically lost Osama bin Laden? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. What? What? What am I listening to? What is he talking about? Oh my god, this guy is crazy, bro. Oh my god, bro. This guy is crazy. The Bills need to get rid of this guy right away. Like, seriously. St. Louis Titans, welcome back. Welcome back, bro. I appreciate it. Welcome back, bro. It's good to see that logo back. It's good to see that logo back over there. We're only 25 likes away, you guys. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. What do you guys think about him saying that? That's crazy. How could he say that? What? That's crazy to me. The bills are done, bro. The bills are done. The bills are done. That's cr I think it's crazy to me. Honestly, I think it's crazy. How, how, how did that even happen? Stefan Diggs is a fucking Texan. Damn, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, the Tennessee Titans are going to be just fine, fellas. No big deal at all. Uh, the rumor right now is that the Bills should go uh, or could be going for, for T. Higgins or Brandon Ayuk for uh, the replacement, uh, which would be a solid replacement, either of them. They're both really good. So let's get into the, uh, the, the, the poll real quick again with almost 350 votes. Uh, can you, like, refresh this shit? I'm not sure how it works. Maybe it's just uh, the same. What grade would you give Texans for getting Stephon Diggs? And we're at an A, 52%, you guys. That's crazy. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe, you guys. Let's go. We're only 25 likes away from the goal of 100. So close, you guys. So, so close. I still can't believe that they did that. The Bills are crazy, bro. For fucking nothing. Basically. Like, basically. 
Wow. That's unbelievable. That's literally unbelievable. It's just crazy to me. <laughs> He's gone. What a bum. You fucking weirdo. Oh, man. I love it. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. How are we all feeling today? <laughs> Shout out. Let's go, man. Trying to keep up with us like it's something. You out of your damn mind. I love it, man. I appreciate y'all. Literally, I hope you guys know that. I really hope y'all know that. Killing it. Killing it like Freddy Krueger and Jason. Let's go, baby. Yeah, buddy. Everything's working out good, fellas. Everything's working out good. Appreciate everybody for voting, man. We're closing in on 400 votes. Uh, appreciate you, Titan Storm. Oh, we got a donation from T uh, St. Louis Titans, you guys. Appreciate you. He says, I can't wait for the season to start. Dude, I'm so ready, bro. I am so ready. Shout out to all the donations so far, you guys. We're halfway through the stream. We're halfway through the stream. Appreciate you guys, man. We're doing good over here for all the people asking. We're doing good over here. Um, St. Louis Titans says, I've been a member before. Why it's like I'm a new member. <laughs> it's because it was paused, bro. It was paused, so it's good to it's good that you're back, bro. It's good that it's good that it's you know it's back on to the way it's supposed to be. Oh, I love it, man. Yeah, McDermott is crazy, bro. McDermott is crazy. Like, what the fuck was that, bro? Julio says, give the the give back the Oiler jersey to the Texans. Belongs to Houston. You're out of your damn mind. Y'all ain't getting shit. You guys ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting a damn thing. These are our jerseys, our colors, our history. You can kiss the baby's dirty ass feet with that shit. This is our history. These are our beautiful Love You Blues. You don't know a damn thing about Love You Blue. You see this fucking hat? See how pretty that shit is? You can't rock that color because it's not yours. Mind your own fucking business. What's up, Face? How you doing, bro? What's up, La Laura Lee? How you doing? Uh, Sensei says, I feel like every playoff team is looking to add a wide receiver... Uh, in the early rounds and taking a wide receiver at seven prevents a team like the Jags or Colts from moving up because they both need wide receivers now. I want to get a wide receiver. I've made that clear, bro. I've made that clear. Uh, Lateral says, Cope, jersey is ours, and I'm going to laugh while wearing it. That's why I wore this today. I wore this today for this episode, for this live show for a reason. Because every time I put it on and they see me talking and shining like a bright-ass love you blue star, they see me floating out like a titan flame like come on bro this is crazy like i get it i get it your your uniforms texans uniforms look like some some knockoff version bootleg ass atlanta falcons jerseys that's what they look like you know what i'm saying you guys took the design that they didn't choose for their new uniforms and you added some fucking sideways horns on them cool on the shoulders cool good job holy crap unbelievable the goat trevor says titans trash you shouldn't be allowed to say that you shouldn't be allowed to say that after what we did to you guys last year. You shouldn't even be allowed to say that. Uh, Julio says, straight up Texans fan, homie. It's going to look nice when you all last in the South. Yeah, Julio. Uh, I remember my first beer, kid. Jesus. I'm a Texans fan, homie. I'm going to look nice when you're last in the South. Get out of here with that shit. How are we going to be last? Look at the team that we've built. How the hell are we finishing last? Colts brought back the same fucking players brought back the same damn players they didn't get any better are you kidding me they got rid of their best quarterback too Minshew's not there to save their ass come on bro quit playing around quit playing around appreciate you face of the ace thanks buddy alex says chiefs <laughs> uh george says texans are getting stefan diggs it's a fact bro we know we know we ready for it we know we ready for it Yes, we're ready for it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, make sure. Hey, let's get that likes up. Let's go, fellas. 24 likes away from 100, man. Let's go. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate everybody for subscribing as well. We're closing in on tonight's goal. We have one hour to try to reach today's goal of 14,500 subscribers. Yeah, Minshew was, Minshew was crazy, bro. He plays hard, man. He plays hard. He don't give up. He don't give up, bro. Texans for life says nobody in the AFC South is in the South is beating the Texans. I mean, you could say that if you want. I think the Titans have have better. Uh, I think the Titans have better uh, overall weapons than you guys for sure. 
So again, um, once we fill on the offensive line, let's go to war. Let's go to war. You think all these all these fucking teams think it's going to be so easy to beat the Tennessee Titans? Then prove it. Then prove it. Come beat us. Let's see what happens. Come beat us. Titan who says, yeah, they got a trio of wide receivers, but the Titans got that trio at corner that will trump them wide receivers. Again, facts, facts. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be our three against their three, and and Jeffrey Simmons is gonna go eat too. So now, now if the pass rush doesn't get there, and you know basically something's going to be completed, now if the pass rush doesn't get there, our corners are good enough to make up for the mistakes. <sighs> you know, I have no idea what's going on, man. Jakester says, the Oilers jersey looked like you got them out of the trash can, uh, out of the back of the Krusty Krab. Wow, he, he really, really busted out a SpongeBob joke. You're definitely a Cheeto milk dipper. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. That is hilarious, bro. Oh, man. Oh, I know. Lateral Crew says 2024 Ridley is 100% better than 2024 Diggs. It's not even debatable. Come on, bro. What are we doing here? How are we talking? What is this? This is crazy. Oh, my God. Uh, o OC says, I don't know, TA. Houston and Tennessee both have amazing weapons. I think Houston has the better offense than we do. We don't know our offensive line. When they do, and when they do, and Schultz had a good season, Chig needs time. Again, we're not done going into what we're going into. You know what I'm saying? Josh Wiley's going to be more improved. Chig, hopefully, he fucking catch the ball. Uh, offensive line's already better than it was last year. Don't forget about Lloyd Cushenberry. Don't forget that we did bring him over. One of the best centers in all of football. One of the most... God, he's good. <laughs> he's so good. We got. I, I like to say that he's our next Ben Jones, so uh, that'll hold some stability for sure. Uh, Texans fan for life says the Oilers unis are sick though. They're the most beautiful jerseys in sports. Not even close. The Wonder Brick says so. I'm in love with this boy in my class. Any advice? I don't. I don't give a shit who you. You can like a lizard for all I give a fuck. I don't give a damn who you like. Don't care. Not here for that. Uh, St. Louis Titan says in raw in ran he says Ron in ran we trust. I love it, bro. I'm so excited about this team moving forward, bro. Let's get those likes up. Come on, bro. 120 watchers still. Let's go, bro. 77 likes. I'm challenging you guys. Let's get those 100. Let's get those 100. I love it, man. You guys are kicking ass today, literally, all day long. All day long. You guys have been domination. Y'all have been dominating all day long. I love it, man. I love it. Titan for life. I love it, man. How are my Titans fans feeling? Are we all true Titans fans? Let's go. How are my Titans fans feeling today? Let's go, man. Ah. He says, what if we make Kiaris Jackson punt return? That's interesting. I almost forgot he was on our team. Um, he's a beast, bro. Uh, I liked him last year. Even in the slot, he was good. I think um, I think he was better than, uh, um, than Kyle Phillips at, at times, for sure. But Kyle Phillips was, was starting to build that chemistry with Will Levis. It, it was really nice to see. It was really nice to see. Uh, Titan Storm, Titans Storm says, didn't uh, Ty J Spears change his jersey number? Yes, Ty J Spears will officially be number two. And again, I'm a real big Ty J Spears fan. I really, really am. Uh, Nod, when for all the people trying to join the membership, join, you guys. Everybody should join. Hit that damn membership. Join the membership, you guys. Join it. Join the channel members. Join the family, you guys. We are building a beast over here. Uh, shout out to all the people who have donated. We are only uh, we are only tw 22 likes away from our goal, and we have like 50 minutes to go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Awesome. Yes, sir. Number two. Oh, uh, man. Uh, J. George says, Sean McDermott... Dermot comparing Diggs to Bin Laden still laughable. He'd say that publicly. That's crazy, bro. Like, hopefully my mods have been time stamping everything I keep sit telling them to because we, we could literally turn this live stream into like 10 to 15 other videos every single time, bro. <laughs> like every single time, bro. Like we're already gaining subscribers and views and uh, this channel is just going crazy right now. And if we were to separate the live streams into separate videos over everything we talk about, oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Uh, the Hemothy says, if Titans stay healthy and restart their defense, they can become a top 10 team. I think we're going to be a problem for everybody. 
Doesn't matter who we play. You better bring your big boy pants because the Titans are here to play. Julio, Julio Caesar looked like he had some, some, bad, some bad aguacate. You need to calm down, my guy. You say some of the weirdest little kid ass, hickory dickory doc bullshit ass comebacks. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh, man. He's probably 12 and playing Fortnite right now with his Tennessee Titans skin on. I can guarantee you. Fucking weirdo. Titans are citizen three. Let's go. Titans Kong says Sneed owns digs. That's a fact, bro. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows what's going on, bro. Everybody knows what's going on. I love it, man. What team is everybody repping? What's your team? Everybody put it in the comment section below. What team do you rep? Who's your team? Put it in the comment section and spam it in caps if you can. Tennessee Titans all day, baby. We're going to see what's going on, man. This has been a crazy-ass stream so far. It's been a crazy-ass stream. Shout out to all the new subscribers, man. It's, it just keeps going up. Everybody subscribe, man. Everybody subscribe, man. We're closing in. We are closing in on 14,500 subscribers. That's crazy. Hopefully I'm not getting sick. My uh, allergies are starting to get starting to get fucked up. Everybody tighten up. Yes, sir. Julio says, bro, looks like you have a heads when you read the man, you don't make no you don't make no sense. How about you come on? How about you come on one time? How about you come on and we talk football? Me, me versus you. Okay? But you you have to you have to turn your camera on. How about that? And then we talk football like grown men. How about that, big boy? <laughs> Do you know how many Texans YouTubers I've called out? They talk a lot of smack, and I'm talking actual YouTubers. I've called them out. Like, let's talk, let's just talk football. Nope. Nope. <laughs> they don't want it. They don't want it. They just talk football. Friendly, nice little talk. A little NFL discussion. Nope. They don't want that shit. They know better. Know better. It's easy to type, isn't it? It's easy to go like this all day and hit enter. It's fucking simple. Fucking easy. <clears throat> Dude, Sneed's going to shut down Diggs easy. We're only 20 likes away, fellas. Let's get it popping. Hey, I appreciate you, Titan Storm. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, bro. Joran, that's a crazy name, says Titan shaking in their boots with digs digging y'all graves. That's the dumbest thing I've heard all day, probably. <laughs> that's one of the dumbest things I've heard all day. That's crazy. Oh, man. Uh, Stoner Titan says you should go live with the sick podcast sometime, bro. Well, I go live every day, so I mean, I mean, if they want to come on my, my show, they can hit me up if they want. I, I, I'm, I'm only focusing on, on, on my channel. You know what I'm saying? I, if somebody wants, if somebody that does Titans content wants to wants to collab, my my uh, I'm I'm very easy to reach. I'm very easy to reach. So if they want to work with me, hit me up, and then we'll do some. Uh, but again, I'm live every single day. So uh, and I'm not gonna stop that. I'm not gonna miss miss that for for doing anything right now. I'm 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 going live every single day all the way up until NFL Week One. All the way up until the game one, we're going to be live streaming every single day. We're not stopping anything. Nothing's slowing us down. And we're focused. We're focused on building this brand up the right way. <clears throat> he says, your room's sick. I appreciate you, bro. I feel like I'm getting fucking sick. J. George says, I miss the tight end screens. Malarkey would run 15 times a game. Jeff Swaim in the open field was dangerous. <laughs> Oh, bro, don't do that. That's crazy. Oh, man. Appreciate you, St. Louis Titans. I appreciate that. Texans fan says, I got to respect the grind. I just, I love this team, bro. Like I said, you don't, you don't, you could be a Texans fan and be here. Like, we don't have to be on the same team. We can argue about sports every single day, but there's a way to do it respectfully. There's some idiot goofballs that come in here and try to say the dumbest shit and just try to get personal and stuff. That's not the way to do it. I could talk shit about the Texans all day without mentioning your mom or dad or your kids or your fucking anything like that. That's weak as fuck, bro. Like, this is football. Let's talk football. Grow man shit, baby. Everybody hit that subscribe button. Come on. I'm Titan Anderson. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. I promise you, try that shit. You can't do it. <laughs> I love it, man. Appreciate you, Face. Thank you for uh, thank you for stopping in, big dog. 
He says, uh, Titans Aussie says, that's why TA is the best. I'm not stopping it for anything, bro. Like I said, man, uh, when we first started this everyday live streaming thing, we, we, we were getting like 50, 60 people watching. And then it started going up more and more. Today, we broke over 200 people watching at one time. And it just keeps going up and up and up because our watch time is insane. <laughs> we're getting two hours, two hour shows every single day over 100 now over 200 watchers it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger groups so the more you guys hit like the more you guys subscribe the more this is going to grow and i ain't going nowhere i'm going to be around forever forever so so i promise you man it, this is the I, if you want to follow a channel if you want to be able to talk and have your voice heard and not you know what i'm saying this is the this is probably a good place for you to hang out and enjoy yourself Oh, man, let's see. Texans for Life says, you deserve everything. You worked hard. It's dumb when people bring up random shit. Up. It's crazy. It just shows maturity level, bro. Like, you're a Texans fan. Me and you can diss each other's team respectfully. You know what I'm saying? And disrespectfully. <laughs> but again, I'm not going to sit here and talk about your family or anything like that because it has nothing to do with the football battle. Our football teams are going to war. That's about as far as it goes. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, but some people are just so immature and our, and our Cheeto milk dippers, they're sitting down there in their basements with their oversized boxers. They're stretched out. They're, they're fucking dirty ass tank tops and they got their spoiled ass glass of milk and their stale Cheetos and they're dipping it in there just hitting like and subscribe because they ain't got shit else to do. Over there got, tomorrow night they're going to be, no disrespect to them janitors, but they're going to be at the janitor department at the, the McDonald's over there at 7 p.m. No disrespect to McDonald's, man, because I'll tell you what, you order those McDonald's, those them large fries, you tell them to, to put extra salt and make sure them fries are fresh as fuck. Oh, wee, them French fries is cracking. Ooh, hoo, wee. Yeah, buddy. If only they were blue. If only the fries were blue. Oh, my God. You talking, bro. Talking. <laughs> Uh, Zython says, yes, we are supposed to talk shit. That's the fun part. No need to get personal. That's what I'm saying, bro. And the real ones know. I don't care if people make fun of me. People diss my glasses, my hats, my room, everything about me, bro. But I don't care about that. You can diss me if you want. That's cool. Diss my team. That's cool. But, but yeah, just keep it there. Just keep it there. We, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't dealing with the immature shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, he says, where's XD Gamer at? We don't, I mean, he's a, he's not blocked or anything. So all those people that just don't see him and be like, oh, he's blocked. That's not true. I don't, I'm not, I haven't blocked him. He's not blocked. He's just, he's not, <laughs> every time he comes here, he gets that sauce. You know what I'm saying? Pause. You get what I'm saying? Like people are always, you know, they're not going to just let him sit there and run his fucking little yapper. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. We a grown ass channel over here. We got, you know what I'm saying? We, we're not meant for kids. If kids have a parental slip, parental, you know, uh, a parent signature, uh, you know what I'm saying? Bring that over, you know, and, and, and show, show TA, then it's all good to go. But again, I'm, it says you need to be, you need to be a big boy to watch TA's content. It says that. So don't blame me. Don't blame me. That's crazy though. I watched the Attitude Era growing up as a kid, right? I watched Halloween H2O in the movie theater when I was either seven or eight, depending on when the fucking movie came out. I watched the I watched Stone Cold Steve Austin with the beer truck. I watched Stone Cold Steve Austin saying, uh, you say your prayers, your vitamins, Austin 316 just said I whooped your ass. I saw all that shit. I wasn't even 10 years old, bro. Like, that made me stronger. I don't care, man. I know right and wrong. I know when to be polite. I know when to open doors and shit for old people. I know when to do nice things and stuff like that. But I also know when to talk shit. I know when I'm looking at a Texans fan. I know when I'm looking at a, Col a Colts fan or a Jaguars fan. I know these things. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Na'ad Win for joining. Brrr. Appreciate you, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Got another member joining the family. Hell yeah! Keep hitting that. We're we're uh, everybody in the in the the chat. Every time you see me drop that link, it's the channel membership, you guys. Uh, at one time, we had like 60, 70 members. Uh, so let's let's try to get all those back, bro. <laughs> Tight and saucy. Texan says, "Who's your sign? Your helmet signed by?" It's um. Uh, it's signed by Derrick Henry. It, it actually says uh, 19 rushing champion, um, Derrick Henry. So it just lets you know how long I've been doing this. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? 
uh, and I appreciate it a lot because it's not, and no disrespect to anybody just has a basic signed whatever, that's cool too. But the fact that he wrote 19 rushing champion, uh, knowing that I had that before he had his 2,000 yard season, that means a lot to me. It means a lot to me and it shows it shows people like, nah, I didn't just pop up when he ran for 2,000 yards. That didn't happen. Um, so yeah, it, it means a lot. It, 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 show, it shows uh, in that, that down there, you can't, hold on. Right there. You can see that. You can see that. That's an A.J. Brown signed football. It's not coming down. It's, it, because people ask me, why are you leaving that stuff up? Just replace it. Put some, no. No, it shows fucking, it, it shows the journey. Look at this. You can't see it, but I don't, I don't want to turn my, Jarrell Casey signed to the Andersons. Man, shout out to Jarrell Casey, bro. One of the realest people I've ever fucking talked to. Not just football players. Desmond King, bro, signed me a jersey for my son. For the whole autism connection, bro. Shout out to him for that. You can't... It's all a journey, bro. It's all a story. This is my story, my family's story, bro. Like, this is... Like, I, t I tell people, this isn't just... This isn't just me, a, a, a Titans. This is a, This is my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? This is a big part of my life. This isn't just some, some phony-ass shit. This isn't just some Titans fan that just went on an NFL shop and bought some stuff. That's not... This is not it. You got the wrong guy, bro. I love it, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Seriously. Uh, yeah, get those likes up, fellas. Let's go. 18 likes away. We got a half an hour to get there. 18 likes away. A half an hour to go. Uh, Kent Wood says, at TA, he is a moderator for Titan Upload. That's probably why you don't see XD Gamer on your channel. At TA, he is a moderator for Titan Upload. You, you, that's probably why you don't see XD Gamer. I don't have anybody blocked, so that doesn't even make any sense. So, I, yeah, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Nah, I'd win. Hell yeah. Hey, it's good. Hey, look at that. Yeah, nah, I'd win. That looks good, bro. That looks good, my guy. Pause. Texans fan says, that's sick. It's going to be weird not seeing Henry on the Titans this year. It is. It is. It's, 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 it's difficult. It is, man. It really is. But we just got to be thankful. Like I said, uh, we as in Titans fans... We got to be thankful for what he brought to the team. He was a real-life superhero for us Titans fans. And anybody that denies that or is too ashamed or embarrassed to admit that, what? who cares? I don't care. You're, you're, not, you're not the Titans fan that I like anyway. Anybody, any Titans fan that's a real Titans fan that, that really, that, that when this team loses, it really hurts them in their heart, like, like how it hurts me when we lose. Uh, if you feel that, then you know then you know what Derrick Henry meant and meant and still means to this football team. Like, like it's crazy, bro. It's crazy what this guy did for this team. He put asses in seats. He changed the whole dynamic of the whole, the whole franchise, bro. He, he made us cool again. You know, in, in the words of, in the words of the rock, the, the final boss, uh, the Titans are cool again. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, man. The Titans are cool again, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking done, bro. Shout out to the final boss, man. Oh, man, I feel like playing that theme song right now. I'm just going to be honest, but I can't because it's copywritten. Um, Lane Biggers says, What happened to Willis on the Titans? Willis will be battling it out with Rudolph, uh, Mason Rudolph for the backup spot. That's already been confirmed. Uh, Zython says, I got an Earl Campbell signed photo with Walter Payton. That's fucking dope, bro. Nah, I'd win, says, I have a signed McNair card. It's pretty cool. That's dope. You know, I was actually thinking about getting getting into cards, you guys. You know, those uh, those Don Russ uh, those Don Russ ones are pretty cool. They, they got some pretty cool stuff. Man, may, may, maybe try to try to do some of that, man. Treat them like scratch-off cards. You know, we get any of them good-ass cards together and fucking grade them and then flip them and sell them and buy a brand new computer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. I was just thinking about it, bro. That's pretty cool. I remember collecting cards with my uh, with my stepdad back in the day and my brothers. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but... <laughs> oh, man. That's some funny shit, bro. You guys are hilarious, bro. What's up, Joe? Tighten up, baby. What's up, Titan Anders? How you doing, big dog? Uh, Titan Who says, that's real shit. I got four kids and my oldest has... has uh, my oldest has autism. I know the struggle, bro. Hey, shout out, uh, shout out to everybody out there with autism. Anybody out there with any type of um, issue or, you know, I hate to use the word disability, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, shout out to all of them, man. So they're, um, um, 
Albert Einstein has, has uh, had, he's not alive, had uh, autism. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't realize that. Um, so shout out to, shout out, shout out to all the people, man, for real, for real. Shout out to everybody. Uh, different, not, uh, different, not less. You know what I'm saying? That's what they go by, different, not less. My, my oldest son has autism, little T.A. Everybody knows little T.A. Uh, and everybody knows I go into story time every once in a while. My life is an open book uh, for the most part. Uh, and, and he's, uh, <laughs> it's funny because he's actually taught me how to do some of my editing from, uh, from, from the iPad and the phone and shit. He's, <laughs> he's actually, he, he's, uh, he, he, oh man, it, it uh, whew, my, my boys, there's, uh, I love, I love my kids, man. But, um, he actually taught me how to, how to, how to do a few things, how to add certain things on to, uh, o uh overlay wise on to the iPad and stuff like that. How to, uh, do certain things fast forward even i didn't even know like double tapping on a screen i would just take the fucking thing and go forward you know what i mean like it's crazy but he's he's shown me he's so tech savvy he makes videos he produces uh he does a lot of things like that so uh you know and he's only seven years old he'll be eight in may next month so uh if he keeps getting better he's i already told my wife he's gonna be he's gonna be high i'm gonna hire him he'll work for me and, and i'll and and I'll, I'll have him producing all my videos He's very, very smart. And again, they all are. They're all just different. Different, but not less. So shout out to my son. I love you, Seth. Shout out to little TA. Shout out to my wife. Shout out to baby TA as well, man. Shout out to all of you guys. All the kids out there uh, battling whatever they're battling. All the parents. Everybody out there doing their job as a parent, man. For real. Shout out to you guys. Too many, too many kids out there being raised, uh, you know, not, not being raised correctly or, or, or not even being... You know, you know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy, bro. And I'm not one. I'm not the one to say how to raise your kids. Everyone can raise their kids how they want to raise their kids. But I mean, I mean by by just supporting them, being there for them. You know what I'm saying? And, and that that helps a lot. You got to be there for your kids. So shout out to you, man. Like I said, over here we're we uh we we real over here, bro. We're real. We'll, we'll drop some knowledge on you, bro. So shout out to everybody, man. All the, all the kids out there doing work, bro. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Um. Oh, XD Gamer. See, I told you I didn't block him. He just hides down there every once in a while. I don't troll on his channel, and I respect the type of man he is and his knowledge and dedication to his team and how realistic and doesn't have an ego like T8 does. <laughs> uh, get the fuck out of here. You're talking to the number one Tennessee Titan streamer in the whole goddamn world. Watch your damn mouth when you're talking to me, kitty cat fan. Are you kidding me? Nobody else is doing two hours every single night. Nobody's doing it. I started the live stream watch parties. Nobody ever did that for Tennessee Titans. I started it. I was the first to do it. Nobody else is doing live streams every fucking day. So you can go ahead and diss me for all you want to diss me. If you don't like me, then go away. Why do you keep coming back here? You're clearly not blocked. But if you're going to be just negative, then go away. It's very easy. Very easy. Uh, Zython says, as a Texans fan, watching Derrick Henry was fucking amazing, bro. I appreciate that, bro. And, and again, it's just like us, like watching J.J. Watt. I fucking hate J.J. Watt. He still cries like a little bitch about our jerseys. But I can't deny people were using brooms in practice to, to, em to, to copy and try to, to emulate the, 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 the J.J. Swat Watt thing. Like, I respect it, bro. I respect the, the Andre Johnsons and, and the DeAndre Hopkins and, 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 and a lot of the good players that y'all have brought in to the table, I respect it. But, but, but at the end of the day, we don't like each other. You know, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. He says, I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Titan Carlito, I'm done. I am done, bro. Uh, Sensei Tank says, I watched his 99 yard in real time. That was the most fun game to watch. And we beat the Kitty Cats so bad and embarrassed teams when Henry was at his peak. <laughs> he's amazing man we're only 15 likes away and we still got 30 minutes to go you guys are killing it bro make sure you guys hit that subscribe as well he says whoa there he is i told you i didn't block him he's just a little weenie and he likes to hide just like jaguars when how many people how ha have you ever seen that one dude on the joe rogan pot shout out to joe rogan on the joe rogan podcast is that one dude who, who, who who's up in the amazon and shit and he's like even if even if you look for the, the, the jaguars in the jungle, you're not going to see them. They'll see you. They see you all. They can see you, smell you, whatever. <laughs> you almost never see them because they, all they do is hide. All they do is hide and attack you from behind. They grab your neck and drag you in a tree, bro. 
It's like a cat ninja. It's like, what the fuck kind of cowardly cat? Fuck cur Courage the Cowardly Dog. Like, what about the Courage the Cowardly Jaguar? This is crazy. The kitty cat. This is crazy, bro. That's all they do. And that's literally what the dude said. I recommend that that podcast was dope. Uh, but again, man, it's like, think about that. He's like, and he's there all the time. He's there in the, the rainforest, the jungle all the time, bro. And it's like, you don't see them. You, you don't see them. They're there, but you don't see them because of how how, how, how they are at, at, at blending in and hiding and being quiet. That's exactly what they are in the NFL. A quiet-ass NFL team that has seven winning seasons in 30 fucking years. <laughs> oh, man, you guys suck so bad. I love it. Oh, man. What's up, Dylan? I see you, big dog. King Isaac. Nod Wynn says Anna signed CJ2K card with a uh, piece of his jersey. That's dope, bro. That's fire. That's fire. Shout out to that. SM Ducky. Rose says, hi, can you say Rose? What's up, Rose? TA, you the guy. You said, I appreciate you, bro. We're just having fun over here. Like I said, man, if you're not having fun, then I don't know what to tell you, man. I appreciate you. He says, mine is five and six. That's what's up, bro. Uh, he says, uh, Trina says, do you like hockey? I just haven't been able to get into it like that. I don't really know the rules that much. I've always liked Alexander Ovechkin. Is he still, is he still playing hockey? Does anybody know if Ovechkin still plays hockey? Because I remember he had that dark visor on. You know, T.A., Cyclops, Bret Hart, Robocop. We rock visors. Visors bring power, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I'm a 90s baby. I grew up watching people with visors. Man, it just brings power. Every, if you, you put on a visor, man, you automatically can lift a car. I promise you. You can eat a whole pizza by yourself and not even feel hungry. You can go and throw a football behind your back 200 yards on point right there like it's a dart on a board in a bar it's crazy what you can do it's remarkable why do you think i'm able to drink 44 blue monsters every week why do you think i'm just playing i don't do that <laughs> i'm just playing i don't do that but i'm just giving come on bro like seriously bro think about it come on bro the advisors is serious man oh man but yeah uh that's what caught my attention i'm be I'm, to be serious he had that visor on, and it was him and Crosby. I think that's that dude's name. What's his name? Uh, Sid, Sid, Sid or Sidney, maybe? Maybe Sidney Crosby is his name, I think. Uh, yeah, him and him would always go back and forth, and I'm just like, fuck the Penguins. What the fuck? They look like the Steelers. Nobody likes that. Uh, so so I saw the other dude, and he had a visor, and I saw he he, he got knocked down, right? And he was on his back, and he... He threw. He made a goal on his back like that while he was sliding. It was the craziest highlight I've ever seen. So uh, yeah, that's why I fuck with that dude. But I don't even know if he's that. I mean, I don't even know if he still plays. Oh, man, uh, Titan who says then I got a soon to be four and two year old, one girl, three. That's crazy, bro. You got a whole bunch of a b bunch of kids. That's what's up. <laughs> He said, do you like hockey? I just don't know about, I don't know enough about hockey. I'm going to keep it 100. I just don't. Did somebody just check in or something? I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. He said, my brother almost died from a car accident. That sucks, bro. I hope, hopefully he's okay. Uh, Alan says, T, I remember I got Marcus Mariota to sign my Titans jersey and Kendall Wright the wide out to sign my jersey. That was crazy, T.A. That's cool, man. It's memories forever. It's memories forever, bro. Oh, man. Yes, sir. We got 14 likes away and 25 minutes to go. Everybody hit that like button. Come on, fellas. We're trying to hit 100. I love it, man. Uh, Nod Wynn says, it's crazy to think that the Titans are entering an entirely new era of football. So exciting. It's crazy, right? I I'm excited for it. The Will Levis era, the first season is him knowing he's the starting quarterback. Uh, for this team, and it's going to be the first time um, in almost 10 years that Derrick Henry's not there. It <sighs> still hurts. Still hurts. I'm going to be honest. It still hurts. Uh, uh, I'll be okay, though. <laughs> oh, man. Zombie says, can I get advice? I mean, that depends what advice you fucking want, dude. You know what I mean? He, uh, he said, Duval is poverty. That's a fact, bro. Uh, Venom says, what is the biggest... What's the biggest crybaby in the NFL? A.J. Brown. Not even close. A.J. Brown. Uh, Hyde says, I'm watching a hockey game on the side right now. Okay. That's what's up. T.A. Overchicken is the reason of my name, LOL. When I saw his... Oh, what do you say? O Ovechkin? 
even though I, it was over chick. What? I thought it was, boy, hold on. My mod is tripping right now. Over chicken. I thought you were just over chicken because you said you don't eat steak or meat or anything. So you eat a lot of chicken. So you're over chicken like you're over it. What? What? Am I still learning from my mod? I thought I knew my mods, bro. Oh, hell no. Nah. Give it. Hell no, nah. give back give back the TA blue dungeon key, y'all. We need we need to figure out who the hell this over chicken. I'm just playing, bro. Like <laughs> damn, bro. I'm so confused, bro. I'm just fucking with you, bro. But I that's 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 funny. That's crazy. Oh man, that's what that's crazy, man. I didn't know that. We almost got a hundred likes, man. Yes, sir. Uh Kaylor Games says, What is your opinion on the Jacksonville jungle cats? I think they should just leave the NFL for good and stick to trying to push that stupid wrestling company that they got over there called AEW. Crazy. King Isaac says, I was a Predator bandwagon for 2017 to 2019. That's crazy when you think about that. Blue Aces, uh, what are we going to do to beat the Texans now? Easy. Get Malik Neighbors or M Marvin Harrison Jr. SDB Titan says, what's up, TA? Crazy drip. Tighten up. I appreciate that, big dog. Uh, Tony says, Giants fan, I hope CJ Stroud succeeds. My brother respects Jesus Christ the King. That doesn't, I don't know what the, what? What does Jesus have to do? <laughs> shout out to Jesus and shout out to all those religions and stuff. We don't do religion over here, dog. I'm just going to be honest. We don't do that over here out of respect for everybody. Uh, this is football, bro. That's it. But shout out, <laughs> shout out to, uh, okay, shout out to, your, to, to Jesus, your King, man. All right, cool. Cool. Shout out to everybody's King, man. Shout out to, to Sheila. Shiva, sorry, I apologize if I butchered your name. You got, you know, the blue skin is awesome. I think that's a, a cool thing. Shout out to Buddha. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to all you guys, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of those guys. Uh, uh, Allah. Shout out to all of them, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know many more of them. I don't know many. I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Shout out to Zeus, Poseidon, <laughs> fucking man. You know what I mean? I just like I said, man. I, I we don't do religion over here. You know, jokes aside, we don't do religion over here, fellas. Sorry. This isn't Bible study. Uh, appreciate you for stopping by, Nodwin. Uh, Kenyo says, the biggest crybaby in the NFL was Terrell Owens. I mean, literally, maybe. <laughs> literally. Hit those likes. Let's go, guys. Subscribe, too. What are we doing here? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Kaylor Gamer, the Jags fan, says, what do you think of getting Calvin Ridley? What do you think of losing Calvin Ridley to the Tennessee Titans? I mean, I love it. Damn. Shout out to everybody who's been subscribing. Damn, I just refreshed it in a big jump. Cre appreciate you guys, man. Hell yeah. Um, but what do I think of getting Calvin Ridley? I think it's the greatest thing since shoestring. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean, Dean? Like, let's do this. I love it. I love it. The, tight, uh, the Titan Anderson, remember you guys, uh, over here, we hold, we hold nothing back. Uh, we're raw. We're unfiltered. We're live. And we're honest. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to answer you guys' questions and everything like that as best as we can. And remember, always subscribe. But uh, Calvin Ridley's gonna dominate the Jaguars. He's gonna dominate the Jaguars, and you're gonna see. Everybody's gonna see. It's just is everybody ready for it? Is the thing. It's just funny. I think it's hilarious. Personally, I'm ready. I'm ready to just see our team do work, bro. I'm ready to see our team do work. I love it. I love it, bro. My buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, he goes. Let's go, baby. I appreciate all of my mods, all of my members, all of my Discord fellers, all of my homies, all of my Teutonians, all of my people, all of my subscribers. I love y'all, man. I just want you guys to know that, man. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. The most interactive, most live streaming Teutonian of all time. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going fucking nowhere. Uh, let's see, uh, Gomez, or Games, the Jags fan, says, not gonna lie, I feel bad for losing Calvin uh, Ridley, but we good now. I mean, Gabe Davis, woohoo, go Gabe Davis, woohoo, <laughs> oh man. Uh, SBD Titans says, should we draft a linebacker or sign someone? I, I'm gonna be honest, I think the Titans are trading back. I don't think Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr. is gonna be there. I think we're gonna trade back. I, I'm I, I think we're ninety percent gonna trade back. Um I just that's what I feel like. I really feel like we're trading back. 
I really do. Are we? We'll see. But I, I think so. I think I think the trade back is going to come it, unless one of those receivers is there. Uh, I think Rank Carthon is just going to do everything he can to try to to give us as many fire uh, weapons as possible. Uh, and if one of them's not there, then we'll trade back and still uh, address the receiver position. I just posted the link again to join the membership. If you guys want to join the membership, there it is, you guys. Appreciate all you guys, man. You guys are kicking ass. Billy Scott, I see what you said about the views. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> Billy. Billy fucking Scott, man. The general of the TA show, man. He's been around since before I had probably 500 subscribers. It's crazy. Talk about loyal, man. That's my guy. I appreciate you, Billy. You know that. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. I, I mean, I could tell you how many views we have right now. We have 4,555 views as of right now. I'm just gonna. I'm just telling you how many we have. <laughs> we have 4,555 views right now. We're almost at 5,000 views and we still have a long way to go. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, man. We continue to dominate over here. Let's get those 100 likes, fellas. We need to make the 100 likes. We need to make that every single time we go live. Every day. Come on, fellas. Let's get those 100 likes. Let's go. They're probably like, how does he know how many, li how many views he has? I'm telling you, you think these things just... Let me explain to you what these things do. First of all, haven't you heard of the blue light bullshit? I don't, is it real? I don't know. But guess what? It covers that. Uh, they're cool as hell. Check. Uh, and they also help me, uh, help me go through the, the, stupid, the stupid idiot comments. And it helps filter them out uh, organically. Uh, so, so all the good questions are baby blue. And all the dumbass questions go dark blue. So it really helps me figure out uh, and, and and kind of filter what sh what sh what I should be saying or what I should be commenting and reacting to. So so that's exactly what the glasses do for all the people who are curious. What's up, Michael Chill? He says, "Yo, I'm new here. What's good, bro? What's good, bro?" Uh, he said, "What's his channel about?" <laughs> oh man, I'm a Tennessee Titans live streamer, big dog. We talk NFL football though. Uh, Titans is always the priority, but but if you got a question or anything like that. Uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to dropping it. We're, we're, uh, uh, we're rated R, we're the rated R YouTube star, Teutonians, you know what I'm saying? Everything's two-tone blue over here, but everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. Yes, sir, man, I appreciate you for stopping in, though. That's what's up, man. We're, we're over here all talking about the craziness going on in the NFL, the Titans and the Texans. It just seems like they keep trading rounds, you know, uh, it's like a UFC fight. Fuck boxing. That shit's boring. Uh, not always, but yeah. UFC fight, man. We got them out there. You know, we, we came out, we swung, you know, and then they swung. And then we got some guys, they got some guys. We got some guys, they go out and get another guy. What are we going to do to react? What are we going to do to to come back and, and, and combat in this? Like, we got to go out there and get somebody. Is it Simmons? Is it somebody else that we don't expect? I'll tell you something. We still need another edge rusher. People need to keep... Don't forget that. Brian Callahan made it clear. Arden Key's not a starter. He's a situational role player. He's going to be coming in as the rotational guy. This is why I keep hearing everything. Not having that third round pick really hurts. If Malik Neighbors is not there, if, if Marvin Harrison Jr. is not there, just trade back. I like Alt a lot. But if somebody wants to give us two first round picks and then maybe something else on top of it and get one of those fucking stupid quarterbacks, I, I have all the faith in the world that Rand can flip those. We can still get a good receiver, we can still get a good offensive tackle, and we can get a pass rusher and a, line, a middle a, what, middle linebacker if we need, whatever, bro. I really feel like trading back is the answer if those guys aren't there. Uh, but I, I, I think I'm going to sit there. I think I'm going to sit there, though, and, and hold strong on. Uh, I think I'm going to sit there and hold strong on those three. I think Marvin Harrison Jr. one, Malik Neighbors two, and Joe Alt, if he's there, it's hard to pass on him. It really is knowing you need a left tackle, but we still could trade back. There's a lot of left tackles in the draft. I'm 50-50 on, 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 on Alt. If, even if Alt's there, if those receivers are gone, I'm still 50-50 on trading back. That's how high I am on trading backwards. The minty one says the swag, though. Sheesh, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Hey, we're only 10 likes away from 100, you guys. That's tonight's goal. That's tonight's goal. Can you guys help us get there? Can you guys help us get there? 
I appreciate you guys, man. Actually, we're, we're going to be at the two-hour mark right now, you guys. Get your final questions in, you guys. I don't even want to cut it off, but we're going to be off tomorrow. Get your final questions in here. If you guys want to use Cash App, Money Sign, Titan Anderson, we have Super Chat down below as well. I'm going to pin the chat in the chat again. Memberships is down there. Join the memberships, bro. The memberships is back. Appreciate everybody for showing that love and that support, man. Uh, J. George says, I know you said no religion, but do you think when Mike Malarkey said his prayers that night, he asked for the tight ends, the tight end end around? Oh, my God, bro. I don't know, bro. We've had so many issues, like, with play calling, with staying healthy, with depth, with just talent in general. And now I feel like we're finally going in the right direction, bro. I love it. I'm so excited about, about football this year. I love it, bro. Uh, Lane says, is Ryan Tannehill still on the Titans? Ryan Tannehill is over there hanging out with his family. Uh, Will Loves You says, hey, how good do you think the Dolphins will do uh, this season? I think they'll be fine. They should have a good season. There's no reason they shouldn't. They're, they're a solid football team. They're a solid football team. Artemis says, Texans beating the Columbian Blue off you, boy. You're out of your damn mind, bro. You're out of your damn mind. Uh, Titan Saucy says, trade back. I'm kind of sold. Uh, we have Bill, if we, oh, oh, Bill Callahan, if we can get O-line to at least mid this year. That's what I'm saying, and I agree with you. I agree with you completely. We're only eight likes away, you guys. Let's try to get it, man. A few more minutes. A few more minutes, and we're going to close this shop. A few more minutes, and we're closing shop. Man, we've gained a lot of new subscribers today. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed your time here, man, let us know in the chat so we can, we can thank you guys. Shout out to all the donations as well. All the people who donated. You know who you are. Thank you, guys. Titan Boy Blazing says, bro, take me at my word. Our DBs about to eat and eat good. Yes, sir. Hey, I like that, bro. Yes, sir, we are. You got Cheeto, uh, you know, oh, Chidobia Wuzier, a.k.a. Cheeto, on the outside. When he gets that first interception, he's going to go hot Cheeto mode. And then when he starts dominating, he's turning into extra hot Cheetos. You don't want him to turn into the black bag and go into that, that shit and start getting into the interception and turning evil mode on y'all. You ain't ready to see extra hot Cheeto. You ain't ready for that shit. And then you got Sneed on the other side, baby. You got Legereus Sneed. <laughs> I can't wait. Roger McCreary, man. He's going to put on that, that, that black mask and go Roger McCreary mode on y'all, baby. I can't wait. We're going to go robbing people. We're going to go robbing turnovers. It's our time to show everybody we ain't that far behind. Texans, sit back and pay attention. Ah, I love it, bro. I love it, man. I love it so much, bro. Appreciate the poll, man. We almost got 500 votes. What grade would you uh, give the Texans for getting Stephon Diggs? 51% A, 28% B, 10% C, and 11% F. That's crazy. So, again, everybody knows that it is a good pickup. But is he still in his prime? Interesting. Interesting. He says, shout out McCreary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Leon's over there crying like a fucking Cody crybaby. What a weirdo. He says, where is Will Levis? Will Levis is amazing. Don't make me bump, bump that Kanye West song right now. Let's go. I appreciate you guys so much, man. I really do, man. We're going to have to close this one down. I'm sure that the likes will go up after we end the stream. Uh, I want to thank everybody. We got 500 votes. Everybody, man, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys so much. Uh, remember, you guys, I'm Titan Anderson. You guys cannot spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. Remember, you guys, we do have Cash App again, Money Sign Titan Anderson. If you guys want to donate, send anything there. Send a message so we can read it off at the next live show. I want to thank everybody again. Thank you guys so much for showing up to the channel, showing up and enjoy. Hopefully, like I said, I'm live two hours every single night. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the show. Hopefully, I can bring you guys some entertainment, whether you like me or not, whether you like my team or not. It's all good. We don't always have to agree on that. But uh, one thing I'm going to always bring you is entertainment. I promise you guys that. So, again, I'm Titan Anderson. You can't spell this team's name without putting that T. A in it. I love y'all, man. Let's go. Wow.